Yeah, good, Sid. Yes, sir. Oh, I said, oh. <laughs> Will. 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 It's the lowest ball in the history of ball. That'll do. Gabby Marsh. Good shot, Gabby. Good screen. Good ease. I'm not going to. John Skis. Oh, yep. I really have only told them two things, and that's getting a <laughs> lot. A big dog. You know, for yeah. us, we like to be in a dog house because we big dogs. Oh. But I did something, and then I just got put in the puppy palace. So um, I don't even have a bark. I just got. Ho, ho, ho! Rap. Yeah, this is actually not. I want you to take a little time, okay, and process this because it's just not just another game. It really is a difference maker in so many things. The Children's Hospital raised a quarter of a million dollars. This kid captain, I mean, giving her something to think about the last couple of weeks. The game of women's basketball. We are playing in front of more people than ever has happened in women's basketball. More than ever. This is historic. It's gonna be on national television. This kicks off the entire women's basketball season. Today, the Iowa Hawkeyes do. Enjoy every single second. Life isn't meant to just exist. Life is meant to be lived. Go out there and live today. Enjoy the moment. You guys are playing for Christy too. All right, remember our kid captain, okay? This is gonna be a moment that you remember when you're old and you have kids or grandkids and you can say, I did that. I played in front of 50,000 people. You guys, when I started coaching and, and playing, I was lucky to play in front of 50 people, let alone 50,000. That's how far we've come. That's how far this game has come. That's how far you have taken it. Without what you did last year, this would not be happening. So you created this. And just, I want you to just enjoy it. I want you to remember it, enjoy it, um, put it in that brain so you'll never ever forget it. This is something special that you guys are a part of. And so just enjoy it. That's this it. has the season to be very, very special. There's no reason. We started off this way, we keep going. We nice. keep going, we keep getting better every day all the way to the end. Yeah. All right, enjoying every minute of the journey. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much, you're my idol. Okay. okay, I'm really proud of you guys for being able to accomplish this. Really proud of you. <laughs> together, <laughs> one, two, three, together! <laughs>is our campaign to support all women's athletic teams here at Iowa. We are building a practice facility for our gymnastics program and spirit squads and an operations building for our field hockey team, and that's just the beginning. These projects and the goals and plans ahead will be made possible thanks to the generous support of our donors and friends. Selling out the home women's basketball schedule and our first trip to the national championship game are two accomplishments we are really proud of and you are part of that. We plan to keep it going, and we do that thanks to your generous support. The women who wear the black and gold are capable of absolutely amazing things. Thank you for providing the resources and the support for them to passionately pursue their goals. Please visit HawkeyeWomenRise.org to learn more.
85% shooting from the field. She had the second most points of anybody uh, in an Iowa jersey. Wanted to take a moment to let you guys know how much we appreciate you guys, um, how you represent not only your institution but how you guys represent Nike. To show our level of appreciation, I'm probably not the best person to do it. So I'd like to have someone come in and possibly show you our level of appreciation. Sabrina? <laughs> Enjoy what you guys have done so far. Enjoy where you're at. Um, it's a lot bigger than yourselves, and I think you guys are seeing that from what you guys have been able to do in the last couple years here, but how it's just changed sport and how it's changed the lives of so many people in your guys' area, but also just around the world. Enjoy playing for one another. You're never gonna get another room like this. There's never gonna be another team that you guys are gonna be on that feels like this. Be proud of how you guys have um, represented yourself, represented your team, and what you've done for everyone, not just Iowa basketball. So without further ado, I do have a pair of shoes to um, give to you guys that just came out. <laughs> uh, the new ones that just came out. Oh. I know some of you guys wear them, so thank you um, so cool. for wearing my shoes. Good luck, I'll be watching. Um, go out there and kill it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I love this bag. Okay, so how are you? Good to see you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. The land, matching pants. You know we had to do it. You guys. Matching pants. There we go. Oh, right off the bat. Insane. Absolutely insane. Your game day TikToks, they come up on my For You page. She acts like she hates me. She hates when people say that, but she loves No, I do hate No, they come up on my For You page. That's amazing. Same? Same? See? There we go. Thank you, ladies. Iowa is the epicenter for women's athletics. Let us tell you why. I was told women were not interested in sport. Well, I, I couldn't accept that. It was that experience that, uh, that gave me the drive to try to change things. A Title IX pioneer with unshakable belief. A trailblazer that built our foundation. One that creates Big Ten champions. All Americans. National champions. Olympians. Hall of Famers. And now, the world is watching. Catching on to what we've always known. And when you give us a chance to be seen, you're going to like what you see. It's my delight and honor to welcome Beth Getz as our new athletic director. Please. If you are a young woman playing sports in this country and you are watching what these young women are doing, why not come to the University of Iowa? Yes, this is a destination uh, for our young female athletes, no doubt about it. This is not a moment, it's a movement. And just like the women that inspired us, we're committed to empowering the next generation of Hawkeyes. Iowa, the epicenter of women's athletics. The Hawkeye Women Rise campaign 
was launched to fundraise resources for all 14 of our women's sports, generating resources that will allow us to continue to build on the storied success we have here at Iowa. Hawkeye Women Rise will focus on facilities, endowments, scholarships, and other identified needs for our women's programs. Two critical priorities include a state-of-the-art practice facility that will serve our gymnastics, cheer, and dance teams, as well as an operations facility for our nationally competitive field hockey program that will keep us on par with the best programs in the country. Iowa Athletics has been at the forefront of supporting women in sports for 50 years. With your investment in Hawkeye Women Rise, there is no limit to what our female student athletes can accomplish. Please visit HawkeyeWomenRise.org to learn more. It's bigger than just a game. Keep your eye on number 22. I'm looking. Here's Clark. She fires. And goes! These moments have a greater impact on the next generation. She wants to be strong like her, determined like her, confident like her, win like her. This is why we do it. We are on the rise. And it's only the beginning for her. It's time to support her. Together, Hawkeye Women Rise. For the first time in the history of Iowa women's basketball, every game for the season is sold out. Take care of business. Let's go. 
Together! One, two, three, together! Let's go! A place uh, the Hawkeyes are very familiar with, as you well know. Winners of uh, the last two. And this is actually the fourth consecutive trip to the final game. And be ready for that boxing one, because it's going to come. Be ready, step up, and let's have fun with it. You guys, 40 minutes. Last time we didn't play 40 minutes against them. We're going to play 40 minutes of Iowa basketball together. And that's going to make us 1-0, and that's going to make us Big Ten champs. Let's keep that unity we have going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We deserve this. We deserve this. All right? Together. One, two, three. Together. Let's go. As we get Championship Sunday underway from downtown Minneapolis, another sold out Target Center. Over 18,000 in attendance. To Marshall for three. There we go. Gabby Marshall stay hot. Stalky, 10 feet from the hoop, goes up strong and finishes with the left hand somehow with Markowski right there. <laughs> Anna Stalky goes up strong with the left hand, finishes and is fouled. Reverses her dribble, gets into the paint, kicks it left side for McCabe. Three, splashes it home. Our sharp shooter showing up this morning. Pushes the ball to Stalky in the paint. She spins, goes to that left hand and oh. scores. Cross court pass to Sydney a falter for three. Swish for a falter who has seven. Here's Clark at the timeline. Bounce pass to Stalky. Right side to Marsha for three. Count it deep in the corner. Jazz Shelley frees up for three. Left side and swishes it. High arching shot to end the quarter. Iowa with some work to do in the second half, but 20 big minutes of basketball left as Nebraska leads it 46 to 35. Here's Caitlin. Step back, 16 footer, drops it in. Into the hands of Clark across the timeline. Caitlin on the right side will fire a three right wing. Out it. Here we go. Left side, Martin for three. Count it right in front of the Hawkeye bench. Captain Kate. And Stalky goes down toward the hoop. Spin move, left handed layup good. That spin move, that strength, it's all about Hannah today. Tries to move mover at the top of the key and fires a three. Smith right in the face of Kendall Moriarty. Clark comes off a screen three-pointer. Swish right at the top of the key on a fadeaway. She's back. She is back. Rebound Martin. Now to Clark. Down court to Stalky. Catches. Lays it up with the left hand. Oh. Now gets into the paint. Kicks it into the corner for Kate Martin. Oh. Swish for three. Crossover dribble. Gets into the paint. Moves her way to the basket. Shot up off the window. Good. We're tied at 77. Clark waits. Left side, Shelley. Cross-court pass, in the corner, Nisley at the buzzer, short, Woo! overtime. Here's Clark, free throw line extended right, tries to weave around, now gets it to Kate, drops it off for Stalky, layup two for the Hawks. Tries to make a move in the paint, gets it into the corner, big game, Kate Martin, out it for three. Cash money, let's go! Now Kate Martin in that area, and she'll fire a three-pointer and oh. rolls it in. Left wide open, right at the top of the key. This Clark takes a three. Now backs it up, fires a three, count it, left at the top of the key. Was there any doubt? Picks up her dribble, trying to get a cross-court pass. It's intercepted by Caitlin Clark. She's in the backcourt and fouled. Wow. Goes toward the top of the key and the three-pointer blocked oh. by Gabby Marshall. <laughs> Nisley couldn't get it up. How about that? Wow! There it is! Hey, count them up! One, two, three in a row! Iowa Hawkeyes Big Ten Tournament Champions! Yeah, I think it was really gritty and resilient out of our group, but we just found a way to win, and I think that just speaks to the team that we have, the maturity that we have on this group. Champs, baby! Back to back! Come back, Gina. Come back! If we want to reach our goals in March, we're going to have to find ways to win that aren't always pretty. you got to be resilient. you got to be gritty. And I think this is a prime example of that. And everybody kept talking about how much we lost. 
And we kept saying, look how much we have. This year, Iowa Athletics launched Hawkeye Women Rise, a campaign to support all women's sports teams here at Iowa. The women's basketball program is so excited about this effort, not just for our team, but for all the women's sports at Iowa, all of whom have projects or initiatives that would love your support. We are currently working to raise funds to improve the lighting and aesthetics in the Carver Practice Gym, as that space is in need of a refresh. But the Hawkeye Women Rise campaign is much bigger than that, working to build facilities, endow scholarships, name coaching positions, and so much more. Please visit HawkeyeWomenRise.org to learn more. Opportunities for our female athletes are our focus, and we appreciate your support. And your one seed is one seed um, was something that I just think gives credit to our program. It establishes us as one of the very best teams in America. And when we saw the one up there, I just, my adrenaline just kind of boosted me up and I just, you know, jumped up in the air. So I'm really excited. I'm um, really happy for this program and for Coach Booter. Um, um, I think I'm just happy for our program. First one seed since 1992 or 93, so it's pretty impressive. And I think it just speaks to how we've been playing basketball lately and, you know, kind of need to carry that into this tournament, too. No matter what seed we were, that doesn't really matter to us. Um, we're just going to prepare for every team the same way. It's so special, like, the fact that we get to see our names pop up uh, next to that one is really awesome. Um, and. The excitement really just holds in us that we get to play another game, and we're taking it game by game no matter what, um, but we're definitely hopes to finish out the season in Cleveland, so. I had Addie O'Grady put the Iowa sticker up today because I thought she came in and played that well for us. I mean, she's seven for nine from the field, you know, has five rebounds, 14 points. Hey, Addie O'Grady, you put this up. Let's enjoy every single moment out there. Um, I know if we play together for a full 40 and we play all the basketball and we execute the way we know that we can and we are capable of, we will win this game. They're a good team, no doubt, but we have our fans behind us and we have to still play hard and still play together for a full 40 to win tonight. So let's do it because it's us five seniors, last one here in Carver, so. This is a special group, you guys, and we're gonna do special things. And it starts again tonight.
I'm so proud of our team for only having six turnovers in the second half against that pressure defense. That's keeping your composure, especially when they tied it up. We found a way to win in a different way, and, and we won with our defense tonight. And um, our defense was pretty good tonight. Iowa Athletics launched Hawkeye Women Rise, a campaign to support all women's sports teams here at Iowa. The women's basketball program is so excited about this effort, not just for our team, but for all the women's sports at Iowa, all of whom have projects or initiatives that would love your support. We are currently working to raise funds to improve the lighting and aesthetics in the Carver Practice Gym, as that space is in need of a refresh. But the Hawkeye Women Rise campaign is much bigger than that, working to build facilities, endow scholarships, name coaching positions, and so much more. Please visit HawkeyeWomenRise.org to learn more. Opportunities for our female athletes are our focus, and we appreciate your support. You guys, like we talked about in the circle today, nobody, Nobody has what we have. We have everything we need right here to beat Colorado today. All right, let's go. Let's go. Together, one, two, three. Together, let's go, Hawks. Let's go, Hawks. Welcome to the MVP Arena in downtown Albany, New York. It's time for some elite basketball. The Elite Eight as the Iowa Hawkeyes get set to face the LSU Tigers for the right to head to Cleveland and the Final Four. So tonight, um, after we win this game, we get to cut down the nets again. So we haven't done that since the Big Ten Tournament. So I really want to, as we're talking, to kind of pass these scissors around and I want you to envision yourself cutting down that net, all right? Three to say there is hype around this game is an understatement. So what is it gonna take tonight? Coach Bluter talked about it. I'm gonna reiterate, rebounding. When I played for Coach 20 years ago, she always said, defense wins games, rebounding wins championship. Tonight, that will be true. Everybody Nobody can take away your power and focus but you, all right? They don't have the ability to do that. You could give it to them, Okay? But we're not. All eyes on this game tonight. Buckle up. It's going to be a good one. You better believe it. Hawks are on the court. You guys are good enough. And you know, you don't need me to sit here and tell you you're good enough. You don't need anybody to sit here and tell you you're good enough. Basket now step back three left wing. Got it. Clark starts the scoring for the Hawkeyes. Got a Marshall. She'll fire a three left wing. Got it. 
you know that you put in the time, you put in the work, you put in the belief all year long. And that's what's good enough. Magical. She's a magician. What a play. What a move. Cross court pass left side. Clark for three. Count it right in front of the Tigers bench. Come out here tonight and show everybody. Let your light shine. Do not hide it. Do not hide it. Gets it to a falter, slicing to the basket. Left hand and layup. Two more for Sydney Falter. Now Clark, down court pass to O'Grady. Catch, layup, good. Get up there above the clouds, above all the crap, and have fun tonight. Smile and have fun. Because you guys are at your best when you do that. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's cut down the nets tonight. Let's have fun doing it. Let's elevate above it, all right? The Hawks will rock and roll to Cleveland, Ohio, and the Final Four. Go Hawks! Go Hawks! I want three. One, two, three. I want! to anybody this is business you know we're here to win a basketball game and hopefully win two you guys we are here and we're not just here to get here win one two three win and what i'm gonna love to see is iowa taking on yukon what a magnificent magnificent march madness the women have put together i would literally call it a colossal matchup you know how good On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, presented by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, delivering the funds the university needs to drive academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Also brought to you by University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives, U.S. Bank, Proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. hy V score big savings at hy V deals.com. And by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. This is the University of Iowa Energy Collab pregame show. Powered by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. Empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Here's Rob Brooks. And welcome inside the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And the final four. Tonight, the Hawks get set to face the Yukon Huskies for the right to take on South Carolina for the national championship on Sunday. As about 20 minutes ago, the South Carolina Gamecocks defeated North Carolina State 78 to 59 after SC led by one at the half. Complete domination in the third and fourth quarters by the number one team in the country. Of course, the Hawkeyes advanced by taking care of LSU 94 to 87, a terrific performance against the Tigers to advance to Cleveland as Iowa had that breakout third quarter, defeating LSU 24 to 13 behind a sensational performance by Caitlin Clark with 41 points, also dished out 12 assists and Kate Martin was uh, great in the third and fourth quarters. Kate was great in the third and fourth quarters with 21 points and six boards overall. And Sydney Fulter just uh, continues her outstanding job since taking over in the starting lineup for Molly Davis, who unfortunately uh, won't be available this weekend. So the Hawkeyes, with the roster that they have gone with since postseason, that'll be the rotation tonight. And for UConn, 
They uh, survived a scare of Southern California. 82-73. That was a, a four-quarter basketball game. It seemed like uh, right in the middle of the fourth quarter, UConn certainly had the advantage, just had a very difficult time knocking down free throws in the last three minutes and kind of let the Trojans hang around. But for Gino Oriema and the Huskies, winners of 13 in a row, they are back at the Final Four. And as you follow women's college basketball, you certainly know about UConn and the Huskies and um, what this program has done. There was a time when it was um, really a foregone conclusion that UConn would win the national championship. They've done it 11 times, and this is their 23rd Final Four appearance. But for the Hawkeyes, the number one seed, UConn, the number three seed, South Carolina, all ready to Sunday's game. We'll be back and get the pregame comments from head coach Lisa Bluter. Uh, Tiffany has um, spent a few hours on the road the last two days, but is right beside me here at Press Row as uh, she will have her keys to a game. And uh, we'll talk about this matchup between the Hawkeyes and the Huskies should be a great night of basketball, and we certainly appreciate you being along for the ride. Back with Bluter after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type our car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. private partnership between the University of Iowa, NG, and Meridium, the UI Energy Collaborative derives academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Iowa Soybean Association is driven to deliver for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. We're proud to provide objective agronomic research, a helping hand with soil and water stewardship, and timely industry news powered by the Soybean Checkoff. Learn more at IASoybeans.com. At Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, they like to keep it simple. Low and slow barbecue done just right. When they partnered up with Midwest One Bank in 2005, James and Jack knew they had a business partner in it for the long haul. With a smoking hot business loan, Midwest One Bank has their back through thick and thin. When your small business needs a partner, turn to Midwest One Bank. We'll plate up business banking that's made to order. We're Midwest One Bank, and we're simply better banking. Downtown Des Moines. Welcome back to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in downtown Cleveland. It's Iowa and Yukon in the final four semifinal action tonight here on the pregame show with Coach Bluter and Lisa, a quick uh, celebration after getting to the Final Four. Got uh, here on uh, Tuesday, and uh, certainly a lot of obligations, uh, especially with uh, Caitlin, uh, back-to-back, um, all the national awards. And it's hard to do it once, just about impossible to do it twice. And to make a clean sweep of it right. both times. I mean, I don't know if you can get a lot of people to agree on anything, <laughs> you know, but for her to have this um, honors over and over again just shows you the impact that she's had on our sport. Certainly uh, commitments uh, leading up to uh, tonight's game. Uh, was it easier this year to kind of handle that versus uh, last year? 
it was easier for a number of reasons. I think one is we knew what we were doing this year, and that helped. Like uh, we knew you don't have to go to everything and do everything, and so we were selective in some of the awards we took the team to this year, um, so that you know Caitlin knows that they're behind her. Uh, so the staff just went to Caitlin to a couple of them, but also logistically, I think they did a better job of you know not having us hop from place to place. It was it was it was well run. Well, it's certainly time to play basketball, and tonight's opponent, of course, are the UConn Huskies. Everybody knows about to what they have been to women's basketball. And when you look at uh, Beckers and Edwards, uh, certainly two All-Americans, led the charge uh, all season long and combined for 52 points against uh, USC. Their skill sets, uh, what uh, stands out? Well, Paige Beckers is just a beautiful player, and I say that because I really mean it. She's graceful when she plays. She's smooth, and she's really elevated her game. The last five games, she's averaging 28 points a game, shooting 40% from the field, uh, from three-point range, and 50% from the field. Um, she's one of those players that really can do it all, and we're going to have to try to keep the ball out of her hands. Gabby's going to have that assignment, and I do worry about Gabby getting posted up, so we're going to have to provide some help off of some other people. And uh, Edwards, um, outstanding as well. Yeah, Hannah's going to have a really tough matchup with Aaliyah Edwards. Is a 6'3 center. She's very powerful. Um, you, you know, she shoots the ball very well, 61% from the field and averaging 16 points. But she is a really good, experienced player. Pretty short bench uh, for UConn. Uh, really only go about seven deep like LSU, but the starters are really good. The starters are really good. And so if we could, you know, push the pace, I think the, the pace that we like to play is up-tempo, and we need to push that tonight because they are very short. Um, they really only I – mean, if any one of these five starters gets into foul trouble, it will hurt them. So we really want to look at putting the ball on the, on the floor, making a lot of drive opportunities, and really pushing the pace. So you mentioned uh, start player to player. We are going to start player to player, but we'll mix in some zone and maybe some triangle and two as well. Confidence and calmness seems to be um, what this team is all about, and, and you got to feel that coming into tonight's game. Yeah, we really do. I mean, I thought we played so well in Albany, and I just feel like this team is playing its best basketball right now, its most confident basketball. And I don't mean just Caitlin. I mean all of them, all the elements of it. I just feel like they're seeing things at a different level right now, and um, it's uh, it's been so much fun, and we just want to win. Like like always, you always want to win yeah. one more, right? Absolutely. There's always, uh, always one more, and this is obviously the final week weekend and to finish it off would be great unfortunately no molly uh, this weekend but boy you just got to really credit to everybody that stepped up uh, sid getting into that starting role and the bench uh, has been sensational yeah they really have been and i just my heart aches for molly yeah. i really honestly thought she would be back weeks ago and uh, it's just uh, you know bone bruise is not healing and she's doing everything she can and, and our st medical staff's doing everything they can and i just feel so bad that this is taken away this is what everybody dreams about and it's taken away from her with this injury um, but you're right sid has moved into that starting lineup seamlessly and uh, everybody is doing their role really really well well coach let's go get one tonight and keep her rolling why not Lana, right. why not us rob let's go hawks that's what it's all about coach bluter on the pregame show back with more after the break this is iowa hawkeye women's basketball from their field imagine someone hiding a gambling problem how exhausting it must be one second seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it i invited jen and dave over on sunday oh so it's great now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you.
After a spectacular season, the women's basketball team is racing faster than a Honda Accord into the postseason with their eyes on a thrilling drive to the finish. From your central Midwest Honda dealers, go Hawkeyes! Iowa Soybean Association is driven to deliver for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. We're proud to provide objective agronomic research, a helping hand with soil and water stewardship, and timely industry news powered by the Soybean Checkoff. Learn more at IASoybeans.com. UConn Huskies at 33-5 and five will go with K.K. Arnold, a 5'9 freshman averaging 8.8. Aliyah Edwards, 6'3", senior, averaging 17.6. Paige Beckers, 6-foot graduate student, leading scorer at 22 a game. Nika Mule, averaging 6.8, had 8 against the USC. And Ashlyn Shade, a 5'10", freshman, averaging 11.2. Hawks will counter with Kate Martin, Gabby Marshall, Anna Stalky in the middle, and of course, Sydney of Falter and Caitlin Clark in the backcourt. The tip off next after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. At Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, they like to keep it simple. Low and slow barbecue done just right. When they partnered up with Midwest One Bank in 2005, James and Jack knew they had a business partner in it for the long haul. With a smoking hot business loan, Midwest One Bank has their back through thick and thin. When your small business needs a partner, turn to Midwest One Bank. We'll plate up business banking that's made to order. We're Midwest One Bank, and we're simply better banking. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type our car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. One second. Seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it. I invited Jen and Dave over on Sunday. Oh, salad's great. Now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. Starting lineups have been introduced. Our keys to the game are presented by Crystal Group. Based in Hiawatha, Crystal Group is a 100% employee-owned company driving innovation with real ownership. Learn more at crystalrugged.com. Here we are, Rob. Another year, another Final Four. Feels great to say it tonight. We've How about got, that? Back to back, yeah, huh? back to back. But here's the deal. You mentioned UConn in their 23rd Final Four appearance for the Hawks. We know this is our second consecutive, third in program history. Feels a little bit like we're playing the women's basketball equivalent of the New York Yankees. So how do we take them down tonight? First things first, we do what has worked, and we continue to do it. You get out and run, 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 push the ball, attack, attack, attack. Think about how fast our team is. Everyone on our team, from uh, from Caitlin Clark down to Addie O'Grady, runs that court. Once you get into that half-court set, it's paint touches before threes. Get it inside and keep attacking. You mentioned they have seven healthy players. Well, get that, draw those fouls, and get them sitting and keep attacking. Rob, many years I lived on the East Coast. I had to listen to a lot of colleagues and equate and make little digs at Iowa. It's a flyover state. There's nothing to do there. That's where they grow potatoes. I always shrugged it off and said, yep, but you know what? We're sitting here at the same table. Tonight, the table is set. The Hawks have a seat, and it is time for dinner, baby. Let's go. 
And the ball is in the air. And the tip won by UConn. Huskies right to left in front of us. And Paige Beckers lost control of the ball along the sideline. And the Hawkeyes will have it. Hawks will look to push, as will UConn. This could be an up-and-down game, as Clark has it at the timeline. Now here's Kate Martin, just left to the top of the key, about 35 feet away. Clark in between the circles, drives down the right side, layup, window. Hawks strike first. There you go. Exactly what she needs to do every time starts the game on that note. Beckers in the paint, lost control of the ball, as it was taken away by Sid of Falter. And it's going to be UConn basketball as the Hawkeyes knocked it out of bounds. Lob pass out to KK Arnold. Big Ted all defensive player. Now on the left wing. Here's Shade. She'll fire a mid-range jumper from 17 and knock it down. She's a shooter. Long range, quick release. We're tied at two, just underway. As a bounce pass intended for Hannah Stalky on the right wing is knocked away and out of bounds. And the Hawkeyes will have it along the baseline. Clark will throw it in as usual. Gets it into Sydney of Falter, right wing. Drives baseline, she's immediately double teamed. Tries to get a bounce pass to Clark, but throws it right to Edwards. Huskies cross the timeline. Here's Mule. Hands to Shade. Now Edwards flips it left side. Arnold, three-pointer. Left wing is good. You can already East all see, freshman team. I was just going to say, you can already see the impact that UConn freshmen have. You have Ashton Slade, freshman of the year, and Kiki Arnold, all freshman team. A falter gets a rebound off a of Clark miss and dishes it to Stalky. A paint pass, and then she is tied up. That was an in and out deep three by Clark on the left wing, and it'll be Iowa basketball along the baseline. Clark will throw it in left to the basket for the Hawkeyes. Bounce pass to Kate Martin on the left wing. She hesitates. Fakes, now gets it to a falter in between the circles. Sydney drives, pulls up her dribble 10 feet away. Gets it to Martin, and a free ball from the left wing is right through for Kate. Kate Martin, 20 points last time they played UConn a year, uh, over a year ago in November in Portland. Her then career high, we know she's not afraid of the Huskies. At 21-6 and six against LSU, Becker's 16-foot jumper straight away is good. Here's Clark across the timeline, behind the back dribble, feeds it left side Martin. Now a falter, inside Stalky, back out to Marshall. Now Martin, three-pointer, right wing, rimming no. Caromed off the left side, Edwards with the rebound. Gets it to Shade, hands it off to Mule. Bounce pass inside Edwards, she lost control, she's doubled. Now back out, Mule, three straight away, knocks it home. Yukon hot. Very hot. And Mule leads UConn all-time in assists, but she can shoot. She's very capable of doing that. Here's Stalky on the left wing. Hawkeyes down by five. Reverse the basketball to Sydney Falter on the right wing. Hands it off to Clark. She brings it in between the circles. Now Beckers comes out on her. Stalky screen. Here's Clark. Maneuvers and try to pass into Stalky, and it's batted away by the 6'3 Edwards in the paint. UConn is going to play an ad aggressive defense, Very sticks with their uh, gal very well. The Hawks need to take care of the ball, be stronger with it. Clark gets it into Martin on the right wing, drives baseline, tried a spin move, lost control of the basketball, dug up by Edwards of UConn. Gets it to Shade, she's at the top of the key. Now Becker's on the left wing. Now in the corner, Arnold fakes a three, drives paint, and then uh, whipped a pass to Mule. She couldn't handle it. Here's Clark. Cross-court pass, Marshall dials up a three right wing, rimming no. A falter, the rebound, takes one dribble, tries to get away, and she's tied up by K.K. Arnold. And that'll give the ball to the Huskies. The possession arrow favors UConn. Iowa down five at 10 to five, 6.33 left to go first quarter. 
That's one thing you notice. You just can't hold that basketball after you come down with a rebound. You've got to get those elbows out and be strong, big, wide. Here's Becker's left side. Marshall draws the assignment. Top of the key, jumper rimming no. Clark gets the rebound. Great defense that time by Gabby Marshall. Here's Clark. Three from the left wing. Strong off the right side of the rim. That was from 35. Yeah. Long rebound. Here is Mole. And inside... And we'll have a foul. And that's going to go on Clark against Edwards. So right now what you're seeing is UConn stifling Iowa down low, not really kind of flustering their inside game. The Hawks need to be strong with the ball. Triple, old, old-fashioned triple threat position, be strong. I don't think we need to be launching logo threes just yet. Arnold knocks it down after the basket so she has six and it's 13 to 5 in favor of UConn Edwards set a really nice screen down there to allow Edwards to get the three-point play here's Marshall left wing fakes the three drives all the way to the basket has it slapped away before she could go up by Arnold and the ball goes out of bounds to the Hawkeyes Quick, active hands defensively for UConn. For sure, and it's really kind of uh, flustering Iowa right now. They're going to need to adjust to that. Bounce pass inside to Stalky, and the help comes over, and Shade knocked it away, but lost control of it, and ball went out of bounds again, and we'll do it right about that same spot. Clark will throw it in. 5.42 left to go in the first, 13-5 to in favor of UConn. Clark looks inside, gets it to Stalky, goes up strong, and finishes over Edwards. Very well executed. Baseline out of bounds play. 13 to 7. Here's Edwards, top of the key, fires a jumper off the back of the bracket, no good. Clark gets the rebound. Fast pace across the timeline, hesitates, goes all the way to the rim, right handed layup, no good. Fight for the rebound. Hannah Stalky couldn't contain the basketball, and it goes out of bounds. Over to UConn. 13 to 7. Huskies on top with the basketball. Here's Beckers in between the circles. Gets it to Mule. Free throw line extended left. Clark draws that defensive assignment. Now here's Beckers from 17 feet away. Dribble drive, penetration, paint, floater, no. Nice box out yes. by Kate Martin. And Edwards commits the foul. A push from behind. That is one place that Kate Martin in these last couple games has done an excellent job of maintaining that box out position, even though she's always usually at a height disadvantage. Tonight's opening tip has been brought to you by Farmers State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements and direct deposit member FDIC. Four and 59 left to go in the first. UConn 13, the Hawks 7. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Thank you to the supporters of the Hawkeye women's basketball postseason. GameBridge and the Parity Flex product designed specifically for women. Crystal Group, 100% employee owned and driving innovation with real ownership. And the UI Energy Collaborative, enhancing academic and research excellence across campus. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type our car and driver January 2023. Based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. The best athletes don't just play the game, they change it. When it comes to investing, GameBridge is doing the same. Their online platform does things differently by putting you in control, so you can invest on your own terms and grow your savings over time. It's a better way to invest, because it's investing your way. Get started today with as little as $1,000 at GameBridge.io. 
So looking to make your next meal a little less ordinary, at Quick Star, we have freshly cooked, hot and ready fried chicken just waiting for you. From tenders to eight-piece fried chicken meals, your next meal will be extraordinary. Only from Quick Star. Postseason coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. The season was phenomenal, but now the excitement really begins as the Hawkeyes power into the postseason. Please join your Central Midwest Honda dealers in jumping up and down and waving the black and gold for our hometown heroes. Go Hawks! Well, both teams have attempted eight field goals, and UConn has knocked down five, and the Hawkeyes three. That's the difference. Yep. As UConn has two made threes, the Hawkeyes one for five in that category. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative is proud to be a season-long sponsor of Hawkeye women's basketball. Visit us at uiowaenergycollaborative.com. Got to watch the passing, too, yep. Tiffany, because early on, UConn been very aggressive. They've doubled Clark. They've doubled down on the box. And as soon as uh, somebody grabs a rebound, there's two players <laughs> right around uh, that player. You looked at uh, Sydney Falter, got a really nice offensive board, but then two players really collapsed on her, created a tie-up situation. So as we talked about, got to be strong with the ball. And then uh, those passes, you got to make sure somebody's open. Yeah, you've got to get big, strong. They do this. This is what we knew. They would come in and double. And you just have to, again, draw the foul. Make them commit a foul. Hawkeyes down 13-7 to with the basketball. Hannah Stalky at the free throw line. Now turns the corner, gets all the way to the rim. The layup off the window is good as she just uh, went right by Edwards. Yeah, just sort of used her body, spun, and took it in for the layup. Beckers on a back cut, couldn't handle a pass. And the Hawkeyes will have the ball down four. Full court pressure by UConn. Clark will inbounds the ball, bounce pass to Kate Martin in the backcourt. Kate very capable of bringing it across the timeline. She does, gets all the way to the paint. Now pulls up her dribble, fires left side. Gabby Marshall for three, a little bit short, long rebound into the hands of Shade of UConn. UConn looks to push. Here's Arnold on the left wing. Keeps that right-handed dribble going. Now backs it out. Here's Mule. One-handed pass to Shade. Now a scoop pass to Beckers. Now here's Arnold. Left wing drives and now gets it off. And a drive-in by Shade is up and no good. A little bit too strong off the rim. And the Hawkeyes get the rebound in the front court. Here is Martin down the left side. Has the shot blocked by Edwards and dug up by UConn. Hawks down four. UConn with the basketball. Here's Mule. UConn's all-time assist leader. Now Becker's top of the key. Gets an Edwards screen. Dropped the ball. Picked it up. Now Mule will fire a three left wing off the back of the bracket, and the ball will bounce twice out of bounds. Iowa basketball, good defense that time. I was just going to say, nice defensive set there. Started with Gabby Marshall sort of flustering Paige Beckers, causing her to disrupt her play, and then a good hand in the three-point shooter's face. Ended all with a great box out by Hannah Stolke to ensure that the ball ended up back with the Hawks. Ice Brady, a 6'3 redshirt freshman who has started three games in for UConn. Played 19 minutes against the Trojans in the Elite Eight game. 13-9, Hawks trail with the basketball. Clark gets it to the high post area. Stalky turns, drives down the right side, goes up strong, finishes off the glass, and is fouled. Every time I can see it in Hannah Stolke's face, her, the way she's playing, she is ready to attack and score. I'm feeling that, like, 47-point Hannah Stolke vibe. Hey, from, we remember that. Yeah, not that long ago. Brady, her first foul. Free throw, Stolke short. But long rebound into the hands of Gabby Marshall. Hawks down by two. Long three. Clark, bracket, no. Ball batted around, dug up by Martin, and then stolen away by Arnold. Arnold then lost control of the ball. Tipped out by Clark. And then Mule will slow the pace. 
Ice Brady, top of the key, gives it off to Becker's three-pointer, left of the top of the key, no good. Brady the rebound. Second chance opportunity for UConn. In the corner, Shade, three-pointer, bounced a couple of times, and dropped through. The rim was giving some grace on that one. <laughs> that could have gone either way. Shade with five, and it's 16 to 11. Martin. Now to Stalky on the right wing, not in the paint, try to slip a bounce pass into Clark. And that uh, was just too hard off yeah. the floor and went out of bounds. Caitlin couldn't handle it. It's too high of a bounce pass there. But again, we're to the point, I think, in the season we've seen the la every, every game that we've played in this tournament. Those passes are tough. We've got to really keep it cleaned up. Fearbach in for a falter. 16 to 11. Yukon with the lead and the basketball. 2-10 left to go first quarter. Here's Mule. Gets it back out. Brady for three. Left-hander. Wild shot. Rebound Martin. Now ahead to Clark in the front court. Dribbles between her legs. Now tries to make a move. She's doubled. Gets it to Fearbach for three. Rimming no. That was a quick three. And then Fearbach going after the rebound. Crashes into Nika Mule. And that'll be Kylie's first. The Hawks are going to need to be ready to shoot, and we've taken some good shots here. That was a good shot by Kylie Fierbach, but Kaylin is getting doubled as soon as she hits that paint. She's hitting a brick wall, so we've got to get some shooters stepping up and making those shots. Hawks down by five. UConn with the basketball. Work the weave around the outer arc. Now Arnold gets into the paint, slips it back to Mule for three, rattles this one in from the right wing. That's her second three. She has six. 19 to 11. Here's Fearbach in between the circles. Angles left side, picks up her dribble, tries to get it to Clark, and Caitlin is held as she tried to back cut. Another dangerous pass. Yeah. That's just going to be tough in this game. You know, Mule is face guarding Caitlin Clark, doing a great job, but pretty much starting her face guard at at the inbounds and all the way full court down. So a little back court pass like that isn't gonna isn't gonna cut it. Mule picks up her first ball possession for the Hawkeyes. A falter back in there. O'Grady's first appearance. Iowa down 19 to 11. Here's O'Grady at the top of the key. Back to the basket. Takes one dribble. Hands it to Clark in between the circles. Now left side. Wide open. Fearbach for three. There it is. Swishes that left to the top of the key. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Kylie was so open. It, it scared her for a second, but she gathered herself for the three. Almost a steal by Gabby Marshall, but retained by Shade. Back out to Brady. Fires a three. Top of the key. No. Long rebound to Clark. Down to O'Grady. Try to pass to Fearbach. And it's intercepted by Arnold. Crosses the timeline. KK gets to the paint and then lost the ball as it went off her right shoe and out of bounds. Iowa basketball down 19 to 14, 32.9 left to go in the first. Yeah, I think the Hawks right now need to maximize this opportunity. Two second differential in the shot clock to the game clock and get a nice basket. But play, they've got to keep control of that ball and be strong with it. Mule face guarding Clark, even in the backcourt. Martin with the basketball on the left wing. Now hands to Caitlin. And she goes with the timeline to the right side. Angles, free throw line extended right now. A uh, dangerous bounce pass going toward the basket. Intercepted. And UConn will have a chance. Double clutch. Becker's yep. no good from 45. It did go off the glass to close out the first quarter. Caitlin Clark only with two points. And that was on a drive-in layup. Just hard to even get the ball in her hands. Yeah, so what's happening right now is Mule or whoever, most of Mule so far, is face guarding her. And then they're doubling off any screen. So in this last possession, Paige Beckers came and doubled off that screen. And then if she gets into the paint, they're even bringing up a post player for some triple team. Very tough. And Iowa has turned the ball over four times the last 3-11. We have played one. UConn 19, Iowa 14. In the final four, this is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. 
Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value Brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type our car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. At Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, they like to keep it simple. Low and slow barbecue done just right. When they partnered up with Midwest One Bank in 2005, James and Jack knew they had a business partner in it for the long haul. With a smoking hot business loan, Midwest One Bank has their back through thick and thin. When your small business needs a partner, turn to Midwest One Bank. We'll plate up business banking that's made to order. We're Midwest One Bank, and we're simply better banking. Coverage of the NCAA tournament and the final four on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers with our amazing lineup of rugged SUVs. Your Central Midwest Honda dealers know how to dominate the competition. That's why we're such big fans of the black and gold women's basketball team as they continue their tournament push. Pass in your seatbelts and go Hawkeyes. Thank you to Central Midwest Honda dealers for your support of Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball. Also as a proud sponsor of the Hawks, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeyes now 6 out of 15 from the floor, 7 of 15 for UConn. They cooled off the back half of quarter number one. And um, Iowa 2 out of 9 from 3. And UConn 4 out of 7. And uh, if this keeps up, it's going to be very difficult for Caitlin Clark to get a lot of good looks because you got to credit UConn. They yeah. have face guarded her. They've doubled and yep. just really doing a great job denying her the basketball. Yeah, I mean, where she's a master, right, is using the screens, being effective off the screen, and they are shutting that down right now by doubling off that ball screen. And not a lot is open elsewhere. So the Hawks have to figure out how to find the open girl and hit, knock down those shots. Hannah Stalky off to an outstanding start with six. Kate Martin has a three. Kylie Fearbach has a three. Caitlin Clark has a bucket. But the nice thing is that other players have shown that they have the ability to step up if uh, Clark sees this type of defense. Exactly, and, and that's what Hawkeye fans have known all year long, is that everybody on this team is capable to step up when it's needed. You know, Caitlin's the type of player, she's gonna turn it on at some point. It, we, we know that, we've, we've seen that. But people have to kind of fill that gap in the meantime. Hawkeye basketball to start the second quarter. UConn 19, Iowa 14. Clark across the timeline. Mule comes out on her. And the ball is tapped away by Edwards. They tried to get it to Hannah Stalky at the free throw line. Turnovers have been a problem for the Hawkeyes. Yeah, they're sitting at eight already. Here's Edwards, top of the key. Left side, Mule holds the ball above her head, now puts it on the floor. Gets it to Beckers, who drops it off for Edwards and an easy layup. Nice pass by Paige Beckers. Yeah, just uh, finding that post, finding Aaliyah Edwards, cutting to the hoop. Here's Martin on the right wing, 21-14. UConn by seven. Now Clark in between the circles. Couple steps to the right, way away from the three-point arc. Here's Marshall, free throw line extended right. A falter. Now to Clark. At the free throw line, whips it left side. Wide open three. Kate Martin, no good. 
Edwards the board. She averages 9.3 of them. Hawks are going to get those open looks. Just yep. got to knock them down. Got to start hitting them. Shade on the right wing. Here's Edwards. Reverses the ball to Mule. Now to Beckers. Kicks it back out. Three-pointer is off the mark by Shade. But offensive rebound. Put back attempt. Edwards, no. But then UConn gets the ball back again. Mule gets it back from Beckers. And we've got a whistle on the far side. And I think they've got to uh, readjust the shot clock off yeah. the rebound. It's like the ball feels a little bit slippery tonight. The Hawks are just not kind of keeping it and staying strong with it. 12 on the shot clock, just underway. Second quarter, 21-14. UConn with the lead in the basketball. Arnold hands it off to Shade. Now to Becker's turnaround three-pointer. That's an air ball left to the top of the key. Good defense by Gabby yep. Marshall. UConn has scored 86, 72, 53, and 80 in the four tournament games. Iowa gets it into the front court. Marshall out near the timeline. Bounce pass to Kate Martin on the right wing. Looks for Stalky. Ball batted up in the air by Edwards. But Stalky gets it back, but she's doubled and loses control of it. Shade digs it up. Here's UConn again. Lob pass inside. Edwards blocked by Stalky. Rebound Martin. Into the hands of Clark. Down court pass. Stalky goes up strong with two feet and scores. There's the transition game. Exactly. She ran that court, but she also maintained her composure and went up strong against a couple of players almost as, as Paige Beckers ended up on her. 21-16. UConn with the lead in the basketball. Stalky with eight. Edwards drops it off for Arnold. Racing to the basket. Layup. Good. Went right down the left side. Yeah, Kate Martin just got a step behind on that. She's going to want to cut her off. 23-16, UConn. Three for Clark. Rimming no. Missed it left to the top of the key. And loose ball underneath the basket. And Mule lost control of it. Stepped out of bounds. Iowa basketball. Hawks just two out of 11 from deep. Almost three minutes into the second quarter. Clark will throw it in. Lob pass in the paint to Stalky. She goes to work. She's doubled. Kicks it back out to Kate Martin. Lost control of the ball. And then has it knocked away and out of bounds by Arnold. So Iowa basketball out near midcourt. A falter will get it in. Does so to Clark in the backcourt. Takes two steps into the front court. Now attempt to pass to Stalky. It's picked off by Edwards at the top of the key. Easy layup at the other end. Timeout, Iowa. Just those lob passes going to the top of the key yeah. or the free throw line just being completely overplayed by UConn. Yeah, they're just getting into the passing lane, swiping it away. The Hawks need to take a breather here, gather themselves, figure out how to move on offense. I'm not, it actually, on a, from the defensive end, they're playing okay basketball. It's just right now, UConn's getting those steals and some layups. Well, the turnovers are a just complete problem us. right yes. now, Tiffany, and that's just uh, good scouting. Yep. on uh, UConn because Iowa at the offensive end just trying to get that entry pass to the free throw line or the high post area and let Hannah Stalky go to work but Aaliyah Edwards at six foot three and a good athlete overplaying that passing yep. lane getting a hand on those lob passes yeah she's just ready for it they're just jumping out and we look a little bit um I don't know what the right word is. Just, just not, not quite ourselves. A little bit shell shocked, almost. Hawk fans, well marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley oop, and every buzzer beater. And Wellmark is here for every moment too, with trusted health coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com/hoops. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. 25-16, UConn with the advantage. 
Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Well, we appreciate everybody that has uh, joined us, not only tonight, but throughout the season. Hawkeye Radio Network, our YouTube channel at the Hawkeye page has uh, been great. We hope that you've enjoyed that. An easy way to um, listen, as I know many of you have been doing throughout uh, the season and the tournament, and also the uh, Varsity app. Yeah, we've been getting great numbers this year. I got to give a little shout out to all those folks. Well, we've got a great team. We've got a great team, but yeah, I got to give a little shout out to all those folks back home in my hometown, Dysart, Iowa. All right. There's a thousand people in the town, and I bet you most of them are tuned in tonight in some capacity. So can we uh, say 999? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, because I'm here, right? <laughs> right. That's why I said it. <laughs> Twenty-five to sixteen. UConn, ten of twenty-two from the floor. Watch just seven out of eighteen. Four out of nine from three for the Huskies. Two out of eleven for the Hawkeyes. Ten turnovers and ten points for the Huskies off those turnovers. So and LSU couldn't take advantage of their rebounding discrepancy yep. with uh, 23 offensive rebounds and only 14 ch second chance points. UConn turning points into uh, into points off those Iowa turnovers. Yeah, for sure. And you, you look at that, ten points. You take some of those away and this is a, a, you know, a much closer ball game. Okay, let's get ready for a Hawkeye run here. 6.32 left to go in the second quarter. High post area, Stalky fumbles the ball, gathers it. Now feeds right side to Gabby Marshall. Hands it off to Sydney Falter. Makes a move down the left side of the lane. Goes up strong. Couldn't finish. Good defense by Arnold. UConn with the basketball. On top by nine. Here's Beckers. She only has a basket. Hands it off to Arnold. Now Edwards, top of the key area, and a charge is going to go against Mule as she crashed into Gabby Marshall. And that's going to be her second, which is good. She's been playing tenacious defense on Caitlin tonight, so it would be nice if we could get her seated. And remember, Gabby and Caitlin played 40 minutes of basketball yeah. against LSU. Clark across the timeline. We're under six, second quarter. Here's Kate Martin out near the timeline. Now a falter, left wing, looks inside, nothing there. Now Stalky comes out to the elbow, faces, spins paint, goes up strong with the left hand. No good as the shot was too strong off the window. Rebound to UConn. Arnold across the timeline. It's a play call from Gino Ariema. And that's a 15-foot jumper straight away. Arnold, no. Short into the hands of Clark. Racing across the timeline. Bounce pass to Marshall, right wing. Gabby just fell down. Nobody around her. Ball dug up by Arnold. Arnold into the front court. Now to Beckers for three. Left wing. Got it. Paige Beckers with five. And the biggest lead of the ball game for UConn, 28-16. Now on a 7-0 scoring run are the Huskies. The last 2-0-3, Iowa hasn't scored for 227. Yeah, right now they're just kind of working the ball around the three-pointer, maybe getting into Hannah and just really struggling to get anything going on the offensive end. 28-16. 5 10 left to go, second quarter. Clark across the timeline. Angles right side, finds a seam all the way to the rim. There's a layup for two as Clark now has four. See if that gets the Hawks going. Yep. Here's Arnold on the left wing. Drops the ball off for Shade. She fires a jumper just inside the three-point arc left wing. No. Clark the rebound. Pushes it down court. A falter in transition. Went up and ball came off the glass as Sydney lost control of it on the way up. Beckers quickly down court. Gets it to Arnold for three left wing. No. Clark, another rebound. Brings it across the timeline. Eyes looking forward. 
Clark turns the corner at the top of the key. Now tries to back her way in. Gets it back out to Kate Martin. And she gets all the way to the rim and misses the layup. Hawks have had two great looks at yeah. the rim. Haven't converted. Hawks down 10. UConn slowing the pace as Arnold brings it across the timeline. Approaching four left to go in the second, 28-18. UConn by 10. Now here is Edwards. Tries to make a move toward the basket as she got down on the left block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Just lost control of it. Iowa basketball, they've had opportunities. Exactly. They've had the opportunities. But here's the good news, right? I feel like I love the penetrations that we just saw from Kate Martin, Sydney Filter. They didn't go in, but I feel like we're turning the corner and getting some motion going on offense. And now the next thing is to knock those down. Yes. Which the Hawks are very capable of. We've got time out on the floor. Three and 56 left to go until halftime. UConn 28, Iowa 18. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. A public-private partnership between the University of Iowa, NG, and Meridium, the UI Energy Collaborative drives academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Tickets are on sale now for the High Peak Indy Car Race Weekend Concert Series. Saturday, July 13th, see Luke Combs and Eric Church. And Sunday, July 14th, see Post Malone and Kelsey Ballerini. Live in concert. One ticket per day gets you into a race and two concerts. Tickets on sale now at HighBeatIndyCarWeekend.com. Midwest One Bank has been taking care of our customers and those who should be for 90 years. We're proud to support the Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team on their road to the championship. Congratulations, you're making history. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Postseason coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. When you talk about incredible power and performance, it means two things around here. Our hometown women's basketball heroes and our rugged Honda SUVs. Join your Central Midwest Honda dealers as we celebrate a great season and move to the postseason. Go Hawks! Rob Brooks and Tiffany Reedy back inside the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Final four semifinal action. UConn 28, Iowa 18. UConn shooting 42%, Iowa 35. Hey, let's uh, give a big shout out to uh, Sharon Goodman. Yes. Uh, the senior wrapping up her career uh, this week was named the Elite 90 winner for the second consecutive year that award goes to the player in the final four with the highest grade point average what an accomplishment absolutely i actually hopped on the bus with the band over here and they started talking about it and they said not only is that an incredible accomplishment to maintain a 4.0 but she's in you know going into nursing she's in sort of that biomedical field that is not easy stuff you have to show up and be present and and stay focused well, she's going to have a terrific career. There's uh, no question about that. University of Iowa Energy Collaborative is proud to be the presenting sponsor of Hawkeye Women's Basketball this year, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. Learn more at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Hawks with a basketball, down 10. Park across the timeline. Angles right side, floater, no good. Just a little bit too strong off the front of the rim. Took that one up from the right block. Made another nice move. UConn with the rebound into the front court. Arnold. And a whistle away from the ball as uh, Fierbach and Beckers got tangled up and Kylie Fierbach picks up her second. It'll be ball possession for UConn along the baseline. Beckers will throw it in. Lob pass out to Edwards behind the arc. Now Mule 
Gets it to Beckers. Turn around, 15-foot jumper, no good. High for the rebound is Kate Martin. Gets it ahead to Clark, who fires for three. Rimming no. Missed that one right at the top of the key. And a whistle underneath. Well, this is going to be a push. And that'll be two on Aaliyah Edwards. Yep. I'm not sure. I guess I didn't see what. We have the rebound there, a holding call. Ball possession for the Hawks. Down 10. Bierbach has it on the right wing. Bounce pass to a falter. Going to the rim. Goes up with the left hand. Hits the bottom of the rim. But we've got a whistle. And yeah. Sydney a falter will shoot a pair. And again, when you attack the rim like that, hey, you're going to miss some, but you're more likely to make them, and you're more likely to draw a foul. So at this point, we need to take any of the momentum we can get. Arnold with one foul. Edwards with two. Free throw. No good. Bounced front, back, and off the right side. First free throw attempt of the night for the Hawkeyes. A falter, two dribbles, puts this one right through, and that's Sydney's first point coming off 16 and five boards against LSU. Marshall for Fierbach. 28-19, approaching three left to go, second quarter. Mule angles right side, Clark on her, pulls up her dribble outside the arc. Now Becker's in between the circles. Puts the ball on the floor, hesitates, gets to the paint, spins, tries to drop it off for Edwards. Lost control of it, dug up by Martin. Ahead to Clark. Caitlin racing to the basket, kicks it into the corner to Alt Folter. Now to Martin. Back to Sydney. Fakes a three. Now takes a three. Count it! A beautiful swish by Sydney of Folter. Like a good neighbor, Sydney is there yet again. We needed that three. She stepped up confidently. Hawks pull to within six. On the move is Arnold. Shot up and good off the window along the baseline. She has 10. Yeah, she's tough to defend tonight. Average is 8.8. .8. Here's Martin. Outside the paint on the left wing. And miscommunication. Bounce pass. Basically threw it right to UConn. Huskies basketball. That's 11, now 12 turnovers for the Hawkeyes in the first half. We're under two, second quarter. Beckers, top of the key. Gets a pass over to Shade for three, deep in the corner, no. Rebound to the Hawkeyes. Clark across the timeline. Dribbles between her legs on the right wing. Now drives, floater, paint this time. Gets it as Mule was a little bit late coming over. Didn't want to get that third foul. Yeah, and, and, and Caitlin Clark should do this every time. She knows that Mule's in foul trouble, but also just a tough, beautiful shot. Hawk fans starting to get into it. Down six. UConn with the basketball. Edwards gets into the paint. Turns. Jumper eight. No. Rebound. Kate Martin. Gets it ahead to Clark. Down court, a falter. Fakes, goes up. Layup. Two more for the Hawks. Beautiful pass by Kaitlyn Clark. Sydney a falter. Calm, cool, collected. Good old-fashioned ball fake for an easy two. Hawks pull to within four. Made their last three from the field. 50 seconds left to go, second quarter. Almost a steal by Marshall. Regathered by Beckers. She goes in. Scoop shot. No good. Too strong. Nice position and rebound by Hannah Stolke. Now Clark will slow the pace. 20 on the shot clock. 30 on the game clock. Hawks with a three. Could pull to within one. UConn, one of their last seven. Here's Clark on the right wing. Fires a three-pointer. Skips off the front of the rim. 15 seconds left for UConn. Clark just has not got that three ball no. going. Beckers. Now on the right wing. Gets a screen. Top of the key. Paint. Drives all the way to the hoop. Layup window good. And that'll do it. Hawks couldn't get the ball in. Wouldn't have had enough time. Beckers with seven. As we have reached the halftime intermission, UConn with that last two-pointer goes on top 32 to 26. But the Hawks in it, not playing their best 20 minutes of basketball.
This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. Seeing the losses pile up and feeling powerless to control it. Now imagine it's someone you love. Your spouse, your child, your friend. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Because anyone can have a gambling problem. They just need help getting their life back. Call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. Did you know that UI uses the same amount of energy as all the rest of Iowa City? That's why we have our own power plant, and we're committed to making it clean. By 2025, we'll rely completely on climate-friendly, alternative fuels. Deep in the boiler rooms, engineers from the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative are optimizing the power plant so it can handle these new fuels more efficiently. Learn more about it at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. That's UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and Type R car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. At Crystal Group, we are driven to make the world safer and more efficient by building superior rugged technology for those on the front lines and in industries that grow our economy. As a 100% employee-owned company, our employee owners are committed to each other's success and are motivated to do things others can't or won't. At Crystal Group, we understand that we're part of something bigger and are proud to support our community and the Hawkeyes. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network? It's free for 30 days. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular even faster? Just get a race car driver to be your personal chauffeur. Just let me buckle my... Whoa! Hey, my calls and data work great out here. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Named the leader in 5G coverage in Iowa. You can pull over now, please. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Awards based on open signal independent data. Visit uscellular.com for details. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. hy V score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest and by the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, empowering Hawkeyes to do energy right. This is the U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Now back to courtside. And welcome to the U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. It is UConn 32, Iowa 26. The Huskies have led the entire game, but uh, Iowa got down and uh, made a nice run, making three out of three field goals before the last miss by Clark, and it stands at 32-26. So, Tiffany, you feel pretty good with a uh, basketball team in Iowa that shot 38%, yeah. but UConn just 41%. Iowa just three out of 14 from three. If you could um, get that to 35%, well, you right in this ball game. Exactly. That's kind of the key to the game here. The difference is those three-point shots. The Hawks are led by a very quiet Caitlin Clark, six points, six rebounds, four assists. Sydney Falter came alive there in that second quarter. Six points, three rebounds. Kate Martin with 3.6 rebounds. Um, Hannah Stolke has been coming out strong. Eight points and a rebound. Um, and Kylie Fierbach with a three. For UConn, that freshman, um, KK Arnold leading the way with 10 points and a rebound and three assists. Aaliyah Edwards. 
Four points. Got to give props to the Hawkeyes, keeping her in check. Five rebounds. Paige Beckers with seven points. Um, Nika Moll with six points, three rebounds. And Ashlyn Shade with five points, four rebounds. You talked about shooting percentages. We know the game di difference here is that three-point shooting percentage for the Hawks. But on a good positive note, the Hawkeyes are doing an excellent job rebounding 22 rebounds to UConn 16. That, I think, is what has kept us in this game, is we have not allowed those second-chance shots. When we look at points, where they're coming from, mentioned again, UConn, 13 points off of Iowa's uh, I was 12 turnovers. I was just five points off of turnovers. Second chance points, UConn with three. Iowa with just four. Bench points, UConn with zero. Not surprising they're not a deep bench. Iowa with three. And points in the paint, UConn with 12 to Iowa 16. So I think the name of this game is got to connect on those three-point shots and uh, keep rebounding for the Hawkeyes. I would say the Hawks are going to also want to keep drawing fouls and, and getting some of the UConn players that are already kind of towing the line into some foul trouble. This has been our halftime stats report brought to you by Hy-V. Score big savings with the all new, totally free Hy-V Perks membership. Back with more on the U.S. Cellular halftime show. UConn 32, Iowa 26 at the half. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. After a spectacular season, the women's basketball team is racing faster than a Honda Accord into the postseason with their eyes on a thrilling drive to the finish. From your central Midwest Honda dealers, go Hawkeyes! A public-private partnership between the University of Iowa, NG, and Meridium, the UI Energy Collaborative derives academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. One second. Seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it. I invited Jen and Dave over on Sunday. Oh, salad's great. Now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Box down to the Huskies, 32 to 26. And welcome back to the U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. Earlier tonight, South Carolina undefeated are the Gamecocks, and uh, they cruised to victory over NC State. 78 to 59 only led by one at the half so the winner of this game will take on the Gamecocks for the national championship on Sunday afternoon men's final four tomorrow from the desert 
Phoenix, Arizona, NC State and Purdue, and Alabama and UConn. So both NC State and UConn get their men's and women's team teams into the Final Four. And what a run for the yeah. NC State men. Won five games in the ACC tournament to even get into the NCAA tournament. And here they are in the Final Four for the first time since 1983. Uh, Jim Valvano led North Carolina State Wolfpack upsetting uh, Houston. And Purdue is there for the first time since 1980 when wow. Lee Rose was the head coach of the Boilermakers. UConn 32, Iowa 26. Back with more after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. A public-private partnership between the University of Iowa, NG, and Meridium, the UI Energy Collaborative drives academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Tickets are on sale now for the High Beam Indy Car Race Weekend Concert Series. Saturday, July 13th, see Luke Combs and Eric Church. Sunday, July 14th, see Post Malone and Kelsey Ballerini live in concert. One ticket per day gets you into a race and two concerts. Tickets on sale now at HyveeIndyCarWeekend.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! My wife and I trust Midwest One Bank with everything we do, both commercially and personally. We're talking with Ryan Baker about Midwest One Bank. Midwest One gave us our first business loan to purchase World of Bikes. They've been able to give us lines of credit, loans to make capital purchases and equipment, vehicles. We have all of our personal banking through Midwest One, so they really have kind of made the dreams of me and my family a reality and stood by me every time I needed them. Midwest One Bank. Simply better banking. Loan subject to credit approval. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Have you heard? Everybody's craving and raving about our very no ordinary chicken at Quickstar. Quickstar? Yup. Wings, tenders, or good old down home fried chicken. More ways to fill up your happy tank. Quick chicken. Quickstar. Got you covered. Hawks back out on the court warming up as the Iowa City Area Sports Commission is responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments from state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Well, the Hawks work to do down 32-26. As you look at some of your keys, Tiffany, coming into the game, uh, how are the Hawks doing? Yeah, so I would say uh, running the court, we've, we've done that okay. I think where we're struggling right now is once we get into our half-court set, we are struggling to take care of the basketball. So, you know, I think Coach Bluter and the, and the other coaches in their scout are going to sit with, had said to the team, face up, be strong, attack the rim. We're struggling to do that right now, kind of playing sloppily. Do we continue to push the ball? Absolutely. It's when we get in that half court set that we need to take care of the ball. I think we did better as we ended out the half. We'll need to continue to push for that. I would say the other thing is, um, just to continue to be confident and be the Iowa basketball team that we know. UConn has led for 18-25. The Hawkeyes for just 14 seconds. Third quarter action up next. UConn 32, Iowa 26. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! 
or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hey, hungry? And your heart is ticking for chicken? Well, take a quick turn into Quickstar because we got no ordinary chicken. Yeah, go wild with wings, next level super wings with trusty sidekick and sauces. Or let's talk tender, quick chick tenders. Love me tenders. Mm, love me some quick tenders. Ours are bigger, better, tastier. Or if you're feeling good old school comfort fried chicken, we got it. Hand breaded down homier than anywhere. Quickstar, saving your nuggets from ordinary. Every detail matters when building a winning game plan. That's why the Hawkeyes rely on Better Cleaner Now Biodiesel to power the black and gold bus on game days. Delivering success on the court, in the field, and in the environment. Make biodiesel part of your game plan by visiting IASoybeans.com. Biodiesel. Request it. Grow it. Use it. This message brought to you by the Iowa Soybean Association and the Soybean Checkoff. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. It will be UConn basketball to start the third quarter. Hawks down 32-26. UConn 5 of 12 from 3, 41.7%. They're 36-4 on the season. UConn working the ball around the arc. Shade on the right wing. Now brings it back in between the circles. And here's a steal by Martin as they tried to get it to Edwards. Kate on the left wing. Gets into the paint. Kicks it right side. Gabby Marshall for three. Swish right of the top of the key. That's a way to start a half. That's a start. <laughs> steal and a Gabby Marshall three. Little D and a little O. And the Hawks pull to within three. But just like that, Arnold gets free along the baseline. Lays it up for two. Down court pass, Kate Martin missed the layup. Nice pass down court. Kate just not comfortable out there right now. Yeah. Just has a three pointer. 34 29. UConn with the lead in the basketball. And here's a Gabby Marshall steal at the elbow. As UConn tried to get a pass inside. Martin walks it across the timeline, gets it to a falter in the paint, fakes, drops it for Hannah Stalky, goes to work on the right block, shot good off the window. Absolutely incredible display of strength. Hannah does not back down. And calmness. Exactly. Hawks within three, a great start here in the third quarter. Backdoor cut, Beckers up and under, layup good. That's a play the Hawks love to run. Yeah, and Beckers was very reminiscent of a Caitlin Clark right there, how she changes her motion so quickly. This gives you that hesitation. Yep. Very fluid player. Here's Clark in between the circles. Wines left side, pulls up for three. Count it! Coming off a screen, Clark from the left wing. Again, that's the Caitlin Clark we love to see, that beautiful use of a screen. Hawks within two. UConn with Arnold at the elbow. Kicks it back out. Edwards, top of the key. Jumper no good. Just scraped the front of the rim. Down court. Clark for three. Left wing. No good. But a right wing rebound by Gabby Marshall. As that hit the back of the bracket. And now a pass to the left side. Martin goes to work on the baseline. Spins. Goes up. Finishes off the window. Kate with five. There she got it. She's back. We're tied at 36. <laughs> Just like that. Beckers for three. Got it left to the top of the key. Don't want to leave her open. And a whistle underneath as Clark was bumped. And that'll be the first on Beckers against Clark. Ice Brady into the game for Aaliyah Edwards. 
It'll be ball possession for the Hawks. Down three. 7-16 left to go in the third. Stalky on the right wing. Holds the ball. Takes a couple of dribbles. Now works away. Now drives to the hoop. Goes up strong with the left hand and is fouled by Brady. Little fake give to Clark on the right side and took it hard to the window. Took it hard to the window. Did a little swoop up and under. Not an up and under. A little swoop shot that drew the foul. I say we get it into Hannah every time. This is who we want with the ball. Stalky with 10. Got off to a great start in the game. Knocks down the free throw. Remember, she was in foul trouble against LSU at eight points and five rebounds in just 21 minutes and 12 seconds. Second one in the air, no good. Little strong off the back of the iron. Long rebound taken down by UConn. Iowa down two with seven minutes left to go third quarter. Shade hands it off to Beckers. Marshall on her, gets a screen to the right side, outside the paint, and then a reach. And a foul will be called on the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark, her second. That looks like great D by Caitlin Clark, kind of dropping off, almost tripling between her and Gabby and Hannah. Might have made a little contact. Beckers gets it into Shade on the right wing, brings it out in between the circles, reverses the ball to Arnold. Now Beckers, deep three, right wing, rimming no, and the ball goes up over the glass and out of bounds. Don't have to worry about rebounding that shot. You can, you just got to take <laughs> it out of bounds. Hawks can tie with a two. Here's Clark racing down the right side. Gabby Marshall in the corner for three. No good off the right side of the iron. UConn comes away with the basketball. Mule, top of the key. Now fires a three-pointer. No good. Becker's underneath with the rebound. She's triple teamed. Does get the ball out to Shade on the left wing. And she takes a couple dribbles. Pulls from 11. No. Hawks get the rebound with Kate Martin. Kate brings it across the timeline. Now Marshall free throw line extended left. Now here's Stalky on the left wing. Drops it off for Marshall, fakes a three, takes a couple of dribbles on the left wing. Now to Clark, out at the left wing, whips a pass inside. Gabby Marshall up and oh. under, layup, no good. Skipped off the left and the right side. Loved that whole sequence, that pass, that shot. Just a, just a bummer of a, barely a miss. Hawks back playing defense. UConn slows the pace. Not much of a bench. Lob pass inside. Beckers gathers, goes up, and finishes off the glass. She's got 14, 7 in the quarter. 41-37 Huskies. Martin in between the circles for the Hawkeyes. Angles right side. Beckers on her. Now a falter inside Clark. Gets a pass off to Stalky. Gathers, goes up, too strong off the window. The defense was there. In transition, Becker's right side, up and under, scoop shot, no good. And Marshall grabs the rebound and then is held by UConn. And if that's on Arnold, that's her third. Yes, it is. And of course, Arnold sitting here with 12 points. That's a that's a very big advantage that the Hawks have just created for themselves. And a 5'9 freshman was a... Big East all-freshman selection who's been very good, especially in the first two quarters. Yes. We've got timeout on the court, 4.59 left to go in the third. Hawks right back in it. UConn 41, Iowa 37. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive. Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value Brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. So see your central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type our car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. One second. Seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it. I invited Jen and Dave over on Sunday. Oh, salad's great. 
Now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. information. Despite the Hawkeyes not scoring for the last 208, only trail by four, 41-37, right at about the halfway mark in the third quarter. Feel the excitement as NASCAR returns to the Iowa Speedway with Powerball and the Iowa Lottery. Add the double play bonus to your Powerball ticket for your chance to win Exclusive NASCAR prizes. See complete rules and details at IALottery.com slash VIP. Hannah Stalke, who started very well in the first quarter, off to a good start in the third quarter. Has three points. Clark knocked down a three, and Gabby Marshall a three, and Kate Martin, a nice spin move along the baseline, was able to finish. Yep. Kind of getting into the groove, feeling, I think, better, more comfortable out there. And obviously, you know, to play not our greatest basketball in the first half and keep it within 10 was an advantage because we got to turn it up a little bit and we have a game. Hawkeye basketball out of the timeout. Martin jogs it across the timeline, a falter left wing. Gabby gets it back to Sydney, down on the left block, now goes up strong, scoop shot, rolls off the left side of the rim, and Arnold comes down with a rebound, and then a jump ball as a falter and Shade both got on the floor. Boy, just need a, a little better bounce off that rim. I know. That was a great move again. Sydney muscled it up there, but just rimmed out. But Hawkeye basketball. Sydney along the sideline, right in front of the I.O. bench. Gets it right back from Hannah Stalke. Drives baseline. She's doubled. Kicks it back out to Martin. Now inside Hannah Stalke. Back to the basket. Now back to Kate Martin. Free throw line extended left. Bounce pass to Hannah along the baseline. Now gets into the middle of the paint. Goes strong up. And the ball is knocked away by Brady and out of bounds. And then a late whistle yeah. and a foul be called on Ice Brady, 6'3 freshman. So Arnold and Brady both with three. And Hannah Stolke at the free throw line. Boy, I thought they were going to let that go. I know, and the, the call was from the referee at the half court. Kind of an odd call there. Hannah's first of two. Got it. The thing I like what the Hawks are doing right now is they're getting Hannah the ball and they're clearing out to like minimize the opportunity for a double team. Second one, also good. Yeah, space that floor. Stalky with 13 to lead the Hawkeyes. 41-39. Iowa pulls to within two at the 4-12 mark of the third quarter. Inside, Brady goes to work. Left-handed layup. It's good. And Hannah Stalky with the foul. Ice Brady, her first basket. Edwards comes back in for KK Arnold. So now you've got two 6 3 players in for UConn. Left-hander puts it in the air, got it. Yeah, she was Big East All-Tournament team, sort of a Leah Edwards um, backup when she was injured and has obviously the possibility, the capability of stepping up. 44-39. Hawks in the front court. Here's Marshall, left wing. Not a lot of room. Does get it to Stalky on the left side. Now back to Clark. Three-pointer. Got it! 
Wow. Swishes it right in front of the <laughs> Iowa bench. And a chance for a four-point play. You knew she wasn't going to stay quiet long. Clark with 12. I think she did come down on the shoe. The UConn defender, but she's up at the free throw line. Clark gets the free throw and completes the four-point play. Hawks pull to within one. 3.37 left to go in the third. Inside, Edwards takes a couple of dribbles in the paint. Now back outside to Mule. Works it to the left side. Now Edwards drives down the right side, goes up awkwardly, and is fouled by Kate Martin. That'll be Kate's first. And Aaliyah Edwards at the free throw line to shoot a pair. Hawks down one. First one, no good. And incidentally, Shade, who committed the foul against Clark, that's her first. Edwards, with just four points, averages 17.6. Yeah, the Hawks have done a, a nice job shutting her down, really forcing her to take a lot of mid-range jumpers that she hasn't connected on. Makes the second. She has five. UConn back up by two. 3.20 left to go, third quarter. Clark whips a pass inside. Stalky, oh. pump fake, and the finish with the left hand. Just so poised. That had plenty on it as she zipped that pass into Hannah Stalky, and now a turnover. Becker's lost control of the basketball right in front of the UConn bench. This is the Hawkeye team we're seeing coming alive. That defense feeding the offense. Being strong, poised. And UConn wants timeout. Initially a 30-second timeout. Hawks have tied it up at 45. Oaknall's mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. A not-for-profit life plan community serving the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is conveniently located near the University of Iowa, hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, and downtown Iowa City. A proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Visit oaknall.com to learn more. Nothing easy at the Final Four. It is nothing is easy is the truest statement. And what I love and, you know, is that these Hawkeyes, there wasn't a lot happening in that first half. And they came out strong, shooting very well, and they've continued to make things happen. And, of course, for them, it's when the defense gets rolling and turns into their offense, as we just saw by that steal. And as we've seen so many times, when Caitlin Clark gets a couple of yep. deep threes going, boy, that just seems to loosen everybody up. It does. And, it and rightfully so. Rightfully so. I think it's exciting. Obviously, a four-point play is going to jazz anybody up. But it, it just, you know, we I think we all know, it just gets her back to who she is. She loves her threes. And now has 13. After just six in the first two quarters, though she's still taking tough shots. For sure. You know, again, how quickly things change. At the half, the Hawks were shooting 21%. Now they're up to 31%. Um, uh, six for 19. So UConn's still shooting the ball very well at 42% and 40%, but I think the Hawks are slowly turning that around. And the rebounding. Iowa leads in that category 27 to 22. Something to look forward to. Keep your attention on is KK Arnold with three fouls. Outstanding freshman guard for UConn. And also Ice Brady, backup center, has three. Really no Hawkeye in foul trouble. Two on Clark, two on Fierbach. Two on Edwards, two on Mule. So 
Don't forget that you can earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimum $50 deposit, requires e-statements and direct deposit member FDIC. This has been extended into a full timeout. With the game tied at 45 with 3.07 left to go in the third quarter. These timeouts definitely feel longer in a game like this. <laughs> I'm sure for listeners as well. Let's keep it going. Starting five on the floor for the Hawkeyes. KK Arnold back in for UConn with those three. Quick three-pointer, Gabby Marshall, right wing, no. Long rebound into the hands of Mule. Tied at 45. He walks it across the timeline, now in between the circles. Feeds to Becker's left side. Clark comes out on her. And now the ball tapped in the air by Marshall. Reverse to Arnold for three left wing, no. And a couple of uh, Huskies on the floor, slow to get up. Hawks should have numbers. Inside Stalky, and a foul on Arnold, trying to steal the ball away from Hannah along the baseline. That's going to be her fourth. So that is a big foul. And also... Ashlyn Shade, outstanding freshman. She's limping a little bit. I make that uh, mule is Shade in for her. So mule looks like she kind of grabbed her knee there and is getting some attention, but did uh, jog off the court, and now she'll head to the locker room to get some further attention. Anna Stalky at the line after being fouled, gets the roll. Off the front of the rim and dropped in. And the Hawks have a one point lead. Just like that. And now a two point lead. Gotta give Hannah Stolke some props. This is what you call pressure free throws. Even though we still have a lot of time left, making those free throws is big. Arnold stays in the game. Hawks by two. Here's Brady, gives it off to Arnold, to Edwards, and she goes up and finishes. And now Kate Martin is down. Not sure what happened. It looks like a finger no. G. No, I guess I shouldn't diagnose until we get yep, a better She's view. running yeah. off the court. <laughs> Appears something with court. her right yeah. hand. Yeah. So a quick timeout on the court, tied at 47. So right now each team has a player in the locker room. Mule for UConn and Martin for the Hawkeyes. And now Mule is back. And it looks like there is a play under review. We'll and see I, and I'm sure maybe whatever caused yeah. Kate to hit the deck. And that was kind of on the right wing outside the paint. Edwards caught the ball in the paint. Got a really nice pass to lay it up and in. She has seven. And they're making sure that area is dry where Kate went down. And... First signal is didn't really see anything flagrant. Coverage of the NCAA tournament here on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. Your Central Midwest Honda dealers invite you to enjoy a thrilling ride, whether it's behind the wheel of a fun-to-drive Honda sedan or behind the bench watching our Hawkeye women's basketball team power through the tournament. It's game on. Go Hawks. So they continue to do some maintenance on the court. I'll tell you those uh, people that are cleaning off the court are very fast. And Kate Martin is back. 
Back. And that's great news. Yes. So they continue to wipe up really the path that I wonder if she maybe Kate had a bloody off. nose. Yeah. And maybe that's why she ran off the court so fast, just kind of. She, smile, she appears to be smiling from where we're sitting, taking a quick swig of water. It looks like she'll be fine. Yes. Yep. Okay. Hawkeye basketball. Tied at 47. Clark will walk it across the timeline. Keep that right-handed dribble going. Now angles to the right side, kicks it back to a falter. The ball tapped up in the air, but Sydney able to get it. Now to Gabby Marshall. Hawks working it around the arc. Marshall hands it off to Clark. Brings it out front, dribbles between her legs, hesitates, gets into the paint, drops it off for Stalky. Layup good with the right hand on the left side. Absolute textbook basketball right there. Gosh, Caitlin Clark, smartest basketball player in the world. 20 for Hannah Stalky, who had eight at the half. Iowa grabs a two-point advantage. 130 left to go. Third quarter. Edwards turnaround 15-foot jumper is good. Not afraid to take that one. No. And she can heat up from there. Here's Clark on the left wing. Gets a screen from Stalky down the right side. Pulls up her dribble. Kicks it to Marshall. Free throw line extended left. Inside Stalky. Goes to work. Spins on the block. Shot is up and no good. Gets her own rebound. Gets it out to Kylie Fearbach on the right wing. Kylie puts it on the floor. Now gets it to Stalky. Right side of Falter. She drives. Layup. Window. Count it. Sydney a falter. Are you kidding what me? What a possession. Wow. Great job by Hannah to keep that alive. Here's Edwards on the right wing. Gets it into the corner. Shade for three. Short off the right side of the iron. Hawks by two with the basketball. Down court pass. A falter. Floater is no good. A little bit strong off the window. I like the shot. Tough shot, but I liked it. Here's Beckers. Gets it to Mule. In between the circles. Now angles left side. Now in the paint. Brady drops it down to Edwards. Easy high-low for two. That's 11 for Edwards. Here's Clark in between the circles. Tied at 51. Whips a pass left side. Gabby Marshall shot no good at the close of the third quarter. Not sure that would have counted. Yeah, I don't think it would have. Just a little bit late. Well, the Hawkeyes, who trailed 32-26 at the half, will head to the fourth, tied at 51. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Hey, Hawkeyes, while you're hard at work in class or on the court, there's a team behind the scenes making sure that the power keeps going, the water keeps flowing, and the temps inside are just right. Introducing the University of Iowa Energy Collaborative. The Collaborative is a public-private partnership between UI, NG, and Meridium. It delivers the funds UI needs to drive our academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Check it out at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for... Aw, Jim! <laughs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. We're still on the air. At Crystal Group, we are driven to make the world safer and more efficient by building superior rugged technology for those on the front lines and in industries that grow our economy. As a 100% employee-owned company, our employee owners are committed to each other's success and are motivated to do things others can't or won't. At Crystal Group, we understand that we're part of something bigger and are proud to support our community and the Hawkeyes. 
postseason coverage of the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. With our amazing lineup of rugged SUVs, your Central Midwest Honda dealers know how to dominate the competition. That's why we're such big fans of our black and gold women's basketball team as they begin their playoff push. Fasten your seatbelts and go Hawkeyes! Well, you better have them fastened tonight as uh, we are headed to the fourth quarter, tied at 51. Hannah Stalke with 20 had eight at the half. What a third quarter she put together. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Clark has upped her total to 13. A falter eight, Kate Martin five, and looked like she did take an elbow yeah. there to the nose. And she was kind of pounding the floor, so obviously that stung for a oh, yeah. Nothing few worse. seconds. Nothing worse. But she is uh, back on the bench, and we'll see if she's able to start quarter number four. For UConn, you know, kind of their big two have really Come alive here in the third quarter. Aaliyah Edwards has 11. She had four at the half. Paige Beckers has 14. Had seven at the half. Paige in postseason has been averaging 27.9 and 8.7 rebounds. Clark rebounding total up to seven. Assists up to six. And, you know, a big point in the third quarter, Tiff, was the Hawks uh, took care of the basketball. Exactly. They, uh... They have not had a turnover yet this half. They had 12 at half. They continue to have that. Definitely took care of the basketball. I think, you know, right now is where UConn, they're in foul trouble. They've got a, a, a slightly smaller roster. The Hawks continue to push that ball and continue to just try to get them gassed. They've only played six so far. Ice Brady, the only player coming off the bench. But that's uh, the way it's been for UConn this exactly. year because they've had five season-ending injuries. Yeah. That is a statistic that's pretty wild. And, of course, when we played them last, four of those five players played on that roster, and several had pretty solid games. UConn basketball to start quarter number four. Basket to our right. Brady comes out, receives a pass, goes cross-court to Mule. Brady drops it into Edwards, missed the right-handed layup. Stalky skies for the rebound. Great rebound by Hannah, and now she'll bring it across the timeline with that left-handed dribble. Now right side, Marshall inside. Stalky goes up strong, finishes off the window against Edwards. Get out of here. This is an amazing performance by Hannah Stalky. More importantly, her teammates are looking at every time for her. Beckers along the baseline, kicks it out to Shade. Inside, Edwards are trying to get her going. Kicks it back out to Beckers for three. Right side, no good off the left side of the iron. Long rebound to Clark. Hawks by two with the basketball. Here's Caitlin at the top of the key. Step back, three, got it! The step back, the step back, the Caitlin Clark step back. Alive and well tonight. Starting to feel it. Hawks go up by five. UConn with the basketball. 8.45 left to go in the fourth. Here's Brady on the right wing. Turnaround jumper from 17. Knocks it down. Got to give her a prop there. That's a tough shot to make. Not afraid to shoot that. We saw her attempt a couple of threes. Here's Clark breaking free. Right side goes up strong and is fouled. Went right to the basket. As Ice Brady came over and fouled Clark on her way to the basket, and that's four on her. K.K. Arnold back into the game, also with four fouls. Clark at the free throw line. First one is good. 17 for Caitlin. Hit 9 of 23s against LSU. Swishes the second free throw. 
58-53, Hawkeyes. See those Hawk fans standing on their feet. UConn with the basketball. Working the ball around the arc. Becker's on the right side. Now to Edwards. Baseline jumper gets the roll. Mid-range jumper, Edwards. Clark races into the front court. Three-point lead. Top of the key, Caitlin now gets into the paint. Runner from 13 is good. <laughs> is she starting to feel it? She's starting to feel it. Mid-court shot there by UConn. Mid-range shot right back at you by Caitlin Clark. She has been feeling it. Ice. Brady with a jumper. Just a foot off the elbow and knocks it down. Tough two by Brady. Deep three, Clark, no good, and I mean deep, and a rebound underneath the basket by a falter, and before she was tied up, got the timeout with 7.27 left to go. Fourth quarter. What do we save think? the possession <laughs> that three was just a, a couple of feet past the half court line well maybe a little <laughs> bit more you know these logos at midcourt now are so I was just gonna say wide this, this one looks particularly wide i believe it's a guitar pick it right? is yeah so it's got that sort of width to it well, the birthplace of <laughs> rock and roll of course they've done a great job of branding that piece lots of guitar Guitar picks, musical analogies. Well, it looks like they've extended to a full timeout with 7.27 left to go. We'll take it as well. Hawks with a three-point lead, 60-57. to 57. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. A public-private partnership between the University of Iowa, NG, and Meridium, the UI Energy Collaborative drives academic and research excellence while optimizing campus utilities for a generation to come. Visit UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. Soybean Association is driven to deliver for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. We're proud to provide objective agronomic research, a helping hand with soil and water stewardship, and timely industry news powered by the Soybean Checkoff. Learn more at IASoybeans.com. At Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, they like to keep it simple. Low and slow barbecue done just right. When they partnered up with Midwest One Bank in 2005, James and Jack knew they had a business partner in it for the long haul. With a smoking hot business loan, Midwest One Bank has their back through thick and thin. When your small business needs a partner, turn to Midwest One Bank. We'll plate up business banking that's made to order. We're Midwest One Bank, and we're simply better banking. Hawks by three with 7.27 left to go in the fourth. Iowa 60, UConn 57. The Huskies have made three of their last three. And uh, Ice Brady, six foot three redshirt freshman out of San Diego, California, did make the Big East All Tournament team. So she's played well in the postseason. Really good in the third and fourth quarters. The lone player that has come in off the bench for UConn. Yeah, she, uh, like I said earlier, backfilled. Uh, Aaliyah Edwards, I think, got injured the beginning of March and sat out for at least a couple of weeks. And she came in and had some big time minutes and contributed. And obviously, she is carrying that over to tonight as well. On the season, averaging. 17 and a half minutes per game. 4.4 points per contest. Hawks will have it along the baseline. Lob pass out near midcourt to Kate Martin. Here's Marshall on the left side. 
outside the arc. Now to a falter in between the circles with four to shoot. Clark in the corner. Marshall for three. Skips off the left side of the rim. Rebound to Edwards. UConn brings it into the front court. Mule, left wing. Ball batted up and stolen by Caitlin. Crosses the timeline on the right side. Bounce pass. Stalky transitioned. Two for Hannah Stalky. Hannah Stokey with those hands. That was a tough pass to catch. And Clark with another oh, big time steal. Of course. 62-57. Brady for three right wing no. Hawks with a rebound. Clark across the timeline. Behind her back. Paint drops it off for Stalky. She's doubled. Gets it back out to Kate Martin on the left wing. Kate drives paint. Turns. Spins. Jumper. Swish from 10. The Kate Martin drive to the middle of the lane, spin, shot, money. 64-57, three-pointer left side, wild shot by Mule, but a weak side board by Beckers. Now to Edwards, turnaround, jumper, 16, no good. Hawks with the board. We're under six. Clark will walk it across the timeline. Slot in the championship game on Sunday on the line. Here's a falter. Turns the corner down the right side of the lane. Pulls up her dribble. She's doubled. Bounce pass to Gabby Marshall for three. Left wing. Yes! Gabby for three! That's our lady of March. I know it's April. You get the analogy. Gabby Marshall knows how to step up big time. And now I... I think they're going to check to make sure it was a three-pointer. Three. Yeah, she kind of tried to, was cognizant and tried to make sure she cleared it. She might have had the toe on the line. Man, there is nobody more clutch than Gabby Marshall. 66-57. Hawks on a 6-0 run the last 113, and that's going to be, I think, a long two. Yep. yep. That right toe was on the line. So that'll give Marshall five. So long two. 66-57. Hawks have made their last three from the floor. UConn hasn't scored for two minutes and two seconds. That Hawkeye defense doing the job. It really is. And what I like is they're kind of giving up that mid-range jumper. Toughest shot in basketball. That's effective. And then, of course, the rebounding. Hawks have been terrific since halftime. Here's Edwards, way out high. Gives it the shade. Dribbles to the left side. Not a mule coming off a screen, top of the key. Bounce pass inside, Edwards goes to work against O'Grady, bank shot good. Tough to stop. Absolutely, and Addy actually played some really good defense there, but that's just, that's a tough one. 66-59, Hawkeyes with the lead in the basketball. Here's a falter, left block, and she's doubled, and we've got a collision after Edwards got the ball, and Addie O'Grady going after it picks up her first. Just couldn't quite get that pass through yeah. the double team. Addie was wide open. Yeah, it's tough when there's two people there. I think she was a little off balance to begin with. UConn basketball, exactly five minutes left to go in the ballgame. 66-59 Iowa. Arnold, free throw line extended right. Beckers in between the circles. High post area, Mule. Now left side, Shade. Back to Mule. Drives down the right side. Pulls up her dribble. Whips it into the corner. Shade for three. Rimming no. And a foul underneath. The push is going to be called on Addie O'Grady, which she didn't need to do. Clark no. had the rebound. Yeah, that's a bummer. And that'll get uh, Anna Stolke back into the game. So Mule will throw it in, 66-59, Hawks with the advantage. Left side, Shade, 
Now back to Arnold for three. No good. Missed it right at the top of the key. That one just uh, skipped off the left side of the rim and out of bounds. Yeah, I mean, the good news for the Hawks here is UConn has missed several of their last shots. The Hawks have either come up with the rebound or, in that case, out of bounds. So fatigue, maybe? But a little bit of fatigue. Maybe not taking the best shots. Hawks with a basketball. Clark has it in between the circles after getting it from Martin. Angles right side. She's doubled and couldn't get rid of the ball. And it's stolen away. Beckers for three. Got it on the right side, right in front of the UConn bench. There's uh, points off turnover. Yep. Beckers with 17. 66-62. Stalky down the left side of the lane. Goes up, has it blocked by Edwards. Kicks it back out. Here's Kate Martin for three. Straight away short. And a hold is going to be called on Stalky on the rebound against Edwards. And it will be UConn basketball on a run of their own. They have pulled to within four. Gino Ariema signaling what he wants from the sideline in his 39th year. Here's Arnold in between the circles. Right side Shade. Now Edwards along the baseline. Pump fakes. Gets down on the block. Kicks it back out to Shade. She gets into the paint. Now back to Edwards. Spins. Lost control of the ball. And out of bounds as she tried to make a move toward the baseline. Good defense by Hannah Stolke. Beautiful defense by Hannah Stolke and a, and a shout out to Kate Martin who doubled once, doubled twice, doubled three times and ultimately caused, helped to cause that turnover. And Kate brings the ball across the timeline with a precious four-point advantage. Kate pulls up her dribble. Now gets it to Clark in between the circles, 12 to shoot. Caitlin, she's doubled, turns, bounce pass to Gabby Marshall out near the timeline now. Now right side, Kate Martin with six. Hesitates, gets down, turn around, jumper, block, count it, Kate Martin. What a move. I right, still one of yours, Rob. Big game, Kate right here. Gotta love it. <laughs> and those are tough shots she is connecting on. But recognize the shot clock yep. winding yes. down. Smart. 68-62. In the paint. Arnold goes to the left hand. Window. Count it. Timeout. UConn. Arnold with 14. That's only her second basket since intermission has had some foul trouble, of course, with four. So with the UConn timeout, we'll take it as well. Two and 38 left to go in the fourth, the Hawks four of their last five from the field. 68-64, Hawks by four. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. The best athletes don't just play the game, they change it. When it comes to investing, GameBridge is doing the same. Their online platform does things differently by putting you in control so you can invest on your own terms and grow your savings over time. It's a better way to invest because it's investing your way. Get started today with as little as $1,000 at Gainbridge.io. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be seeing the losses pile up and feeling powerless to control it. Now imagine it's someone you love, your spouse, your child, your friend. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from because anyone can have a gambling problem. They just need help getting their life back. Call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. That's 1-800-BETS-OFF. A message from Iowa HHS. Postseason coverage on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. The entire season was special, and the postseason promises to be just as thrilling as taking the curves in an exciting Honda sedan. Your Central Midwest Honda dealers are proud to support the black and gold women's basketball team and to be a part of the postseason. Go Hawkeyes! And Kate Martin with a big-time spin move again in the paint. Goes up and floats it over the front of the rim. Kate with 11. Give the Hawkeyes a six-point advantage. That was the first possession out of the timeout. 
Here's Becker's right side. Now to the elbow. Floats it inside for Edwards. Layup two more for Aaliyah Edwards. 70-66. 1.45 left to go. Here's a falter on the right wing. Keeps that left-handed dribble going. Now comes in between the circles. Right side, Kate Martin. Now to Clark. Floater. Window. No good. Weak side. Rebound. Edwards. Boy, that did everything except yeah. drop in. Yep. Hawks got to get a big stop here. Iowa by four. Mule brings it to the right side. Outside the paint. Now in the corner. Wide open. Beckers missed the three-pointer. Got her own rebound. And then... Passed it right to Hannah Stalky as it was tipped by the Hawkeyes. Iowa basketball, 105 left to go. Clark fouled go. at the timeline. That'll go on Mule. That'll be her third. Still ball possession for the Hawkeyes. 102 left to go. Iowa by four, 72-66. Martin across the timeline. Being pressured yeah. out near the timeline. So obviously, UConn wants to extend this game and put Iowa on the free throw line, which I think is the right thing. Yeah, for sure. But they've got to burn a couple more fouls. And the Hawks, of course, calm, cool, and collected. Just keep, keep track of the ball. Got to get it in. Do so to Stalky. Out near the timeline, and then the ball tipped, and then Iowa turns it over. Martin thought it was going to be over and back. Here's Mule. For three. Swishes it left to the top of the key. 70-69. Exactly what the Hawks didn't want to have happen. Timeout on the court. Thirty-second timeout, and uh, the Iowa coach is pleading that there was contact at midcourt, but yeah. the ball was tipped, and, and I think Kate it, tried to save it. Correct, thinking she was going to get that, but could have over gone above. back and grabbed it. Yeah, and then that resulted in a Nika Mule three-pointer. So Iowa will have the ball with 39.3 left to go and a one-point lead. Both teams only have three fouls. So 39-3 on the game clock, 30 on the shot clock. The Hawkeyes will inbounds it in their front court along the side. All the players will line up at the top of the key. Gabby Marshall is literally has her arms wrapped around Hannah Stolke to make sure nobody gets through. And they break. Somebody's got to get free, and Caitlin does at the timeline. Now brings it right side. Now UConn can play this out. Clark will just keep that dribble going. 40 feet from the basket on the right side. With 16, now with 15. Iowa with a one-point lead. Now Clark will go. Flips it to Stalky in the paint. And now it's a steal by Arnold with 10 seconds. Timeout. Taken by UConn. Fox tried to reverse the ball to get something in the corner. And that didn't work. Yeah, they, they did what they've been doing all game, and they got a tap on it and a steal. From a defensive perspective, UConn should feel really great about what they've done here in the last minute. I mean, they caused a turnover, got a steal, and then have the ball back now with nine seconds left. And the Hawks have not scored for the last two minutes and five seconds. And that steal, that's uh, yeah. the play of the game so For far. Sure. Because at that time, UConn was going to foul and put Iowa on the free throw line. And we know how good the Hawks are at the stripe. 
But then that three-pointer by Mule, that changed everything. 70-69, mm -hmm. 9.3 left to go. UConn will inbounds the ball in the backcourt. Along the side. Don't have to go the full length. Just about three quarters. 10.8 on the clock. Iowa by one. They have been going to Edwards. Yes. Marshall will be on Beckers. Edwards will throw the ball in. Hawks do have a foul to give if they elect to. Mule gets it back from Beckers. Drives baseline. Now oh, a charge wow, is going to be called. <laughs> What a turn of events here. Aaliyah Edwards with a foul with wow. 3.9 left to go. An offensive foul on Edwards. Timeout, Iowa. The Hawks with a one-point lead. Wow. Wow. That is a wow. Yeah. An I, offensive I, I, foul against Aaliyah Edwards with 3.9 left to go. And the UConn offense was rather stagnant as Mule got caught yep. on the right baseline, looked for help out on the right wing. And by that time, the whistle had blown and the foul had been called on Edwards. And I keep looking for the replay because I didn't see. I don't think you did either. We were kind of. Well, you would think it would and, have to be pretty yeah. obvious. It was away it from was the ball. Very far away from the ball. Uh, Gabby Marshall reacted. I don't know if it was committed against her, but she definitely was the most um, excited to see the call. But they're not replaying it. So is it? Are they reviewing it right now or no? Nothing to review. <laughs> no. Hawks by one with now 4.6. They are going to put some time back on the clock. Martin will throw it in along the side in the front court. Hawks line up at the top of the key area. Martin. Taylor McCabe into the game. Gets it to Clark on the left wing, and she is held by Beckers. 3.1 left to go. And again, why Caitlin Clark is so smart. She caught the ball. She could have dribbled, but she didn't. She knew that UConn was going to foul. Why risk a dribble and a potential turnover? Except you burn a little more clock. Yeah, but she was in a uh, tricky spot. Lots of defenders around. So 3.1 left to go. Clark at the free throw line. 70-69 Hawkeyes. Clark 3 for 3 at the line. UConn will certainly call a timeout to advance the ball. They'll have time. Clark's first is good. This next one's huge. Clark with 21. Caitlin with two dribbles. Eye is the hoop. Got it off the back of the iron. Rebound, oh. Sydney Falter in the paint. Oh. And she is tied up with 1.1 left to go. What a huge board for Sid of Falter. Huge rebound. Looks like possession is going to the Hawkeyes. 71-69. Arrow favors the Hawks. And uh, Clark just bounced it off Beckers. And now there's point one left to go. So that burned a couple tenths of a second. Page was along the baseline with her back yep. to the baseline. 71-69. Hawks by two after Clark got one out of two. And then a huge board by Sydney Falter in the paint as the free throw came off the back of the iron. Point one left to go. You can't do anything with point one. No. So just throw it in. Yep. What a game. What a game we've had here. And now they will put point three on the clock. 
Now there you can get a yep, shot off, yep. but we're at Iowa's end of the court. Yes, and, uh, and possession Iowa. Now a jump ball. It have to happen very quickly, but now the arrow favors UConn. Clark will throw it in. Hawks basically in a box set. Now it's point eight. Okay, they keep going. And now oh, that's it. Hey. Martin catches it, throws it up in the air. Hey, Hawk fans, let's do it again. Then there were two. Iowa back to the national championship game to take on South Carolina. Wow. They got their draw in this NCAA tournament. Everybody said they have the toughest road. And look here. They have won. They have won. They have won. Gotten themselves back to the national championship game again. What a basketball game. And what a second half by the Iowa Hawkeyes who didn't play their best basketball in the first two quarters, but only trailed 32-26, got it tied after three, win it by two. Yeah, just tenacity, never giving up. Man, I mean, take a moment here, Rob. This is Iowa. Iowa going back to the national championship, defeating a team like UConn. We are blessed. Did it in Dallas, now we're gonna do it in Cleveland. As the Hawkeyes out at midcourt. Fearbach and Marshall and Kate Martin embracing. The Hawkeyes do it. Just Grit down at the end of the game. And we're going to be joined by there she is. Kate Martin. <laughs> it's the Iowa Hawkeyes. Kate, we, we are way up there. Thanks for hopping on. Congratulations, Kate Martin. Wow, you guys struggled that first half, bounced back. How does it feel? Yeah. Kate, what was the difference in the third and fourth quarters that really came out and got right back into the game out of the halftime break? Kate Martin, we are so proud of you. We are happy to see you back in a national championship game. Congrats. That was uh, Kate Martin. Hopefully uh, that got through some uh, technology here uh, inside Cleveland. But basically what she was talking about was um, just uh, what she was able to do from a competitive standpoint coming down the stretch. And the Hawkeyes still had a ton of confidence and uh, took that into the fourth quarter. Yeah, and, and being able to recognize, right, she mentioned being able to recognize Hannah Stolke was the player. Getting it inside to Hannah and recognizing that. I don't think she gave herself enough credit for her three drives to the hoop, spin moves for the easy mid-range shot. So Kate Martin, one of the stars of the game for sure, with um, 11 points. And the fact only three at the half, and you know, missed a couple of shots she'd like to have back. But boys, we <laughs> like to call her big game Kate. Yeah. Uh, was big in the third yeah. and fourth quarters. You know, she's got a lot of nicknames, but that by far is my favorite and most appropriate. She also had eight rebounds. The Hawks out-rebounded UConn 37 to 29. A, a huge key to their success tonight for sure. 
Well, we'll continue with uh, plenty of post game here. We've um, got the ability to to um, get into the uh, the press conferences, so we'll hopefully bring some of that uh, to you and um, just to continue celebrating this outstanding victory by the Hawkeyes, 71-69, and kind of what most teams get in a Final Four atmosphere down to the wire yep. for 40 minutes. You know, the scary part is those couple mistakes at the very last, those steals that UConn came up with, could have really changed the, the pace of the game, the outcome of the game. But the Hawks prevailed, stayed cool, stayed, stayed calm in the last 30 seconds and got that win. Yep, no doubt about that. And uh, another thing that uh, Kate mentioned was the play of Hannah Stalke and how yeah. big she was for all four quarters. Yeah, I mean, obviously she ended the game with 23 points, three rebounds. But again, so much with her, there was the intangibles, the tapping of the ball, the getting the ball tapped out to her teammate. Um, you know, Aaliyah Edwards, 17 points. I guess that's her average, but um, did a nice job on the defensive end as well. Um, but that's the Hannah Stolke. I mean, it is very difficult to stop Hannah when she faces up and attacks, and that is what she did tonight. Well, South Carolina had a little bit of an easier time as they took care of NC State 78-59. to but That was a one-game, one-point game at the half. This was tied after three. And UConn had the advantage at the half, 32 to 26. But uh, the Hawkeyes upped that shooting percentage in the third and fourth quarters, got it up to uh, 46%. And the Hawks ended the game, making five of their last seven. And UConn didn't go anywhere either. Yeah. Made four of their last five. Yeah, I mean, it was a game for the books. You couldn't ask for much better. And of course, like Kate said, when you're down, even by what we were at half, they knew. They knew it was not it was not the end, and they just kept fighting. Look, at this point in the season, if you win, you win. Nobody cares if it was pretty. Nobody cares how you started. They only care how you ended. And in our case, that's to our second national championship game in two years. That's uh, always what it is about at the tournament, right? Just win in advance, and that's exactly what the, the Hawkeyes did, and also broke a six-game losing streak to UConn. This is uh -oh. the 10th the game in which um, UConn and the Hawks have played. And I'm wondering, is this Coach Bluter's first win versus UConn? I would guess that it would be. I don't think in her tenure they have been able to, to defeat them, mostly because, of course, when she first started there, they were probably at their most golden era. And then we played them last year. Squeaked out a... They squeaked out a win, but other than that, I think... Yeah, you got to yeah. go back to 1990, when um, Iowa defeated UConn 58-41. Okay. to 41. Yeah. But, you know, they haven't hardly lost at all to anybody during exactly. that time. I mean, uh, Gino Oriema is a 1,213 and now 162. And that feels good. <laughs> well, we'll continue on the postgame show. We've got plenty more for you. I know nobody's going to sleep tonight. No, absolutely not. As the Hawks advance to the national championship game. 71 to 69 take on the Gamecocks Sunday afternoon. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Did you know that UI ranks near the top of the EPA's green power leaderboard with 84% of our energy coming from renewable sources? Now you can be a part of the team that makes it happen. The University of Iowa Energy Collaborative, our partner in a collaborative, NG North America, is now offering part-time on-campus positions where you can get hands-on, career-inspiring experience in sustainable utility systems management. Check out the jobs and apply now at UIowaEnergyCollaborative.com. 
Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oakdale is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oakdale.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Feel the excitement as NASCAR returns to the Iowa Speedway with Powerball and the Iowa Lottery. Just add the double play bonus to your Powerball ticket for $1, then enter it in the VIP club, and you could win tickets to the sold-out NASCAR race or other exclusive race weekend prizes. Feel the power of NASCAR and double play today. Woohoo! See complete rules and details at ialottery.com slash VIP. At Crystal Group, we are driven to make the world safer and more efficient by building superior rugged technology for those on the front lines and in industries that grow our economy. As a 100% employee-owned company, our employee owners are committed to each other's success and are motivated to do things others can't or won't. At Crystal Group, we understand that we're part of something bigger and are proud to support our community and the Hawkeyes. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Once again, here's Rob Brooks. Welcome back to downtown Cleveland and a bunch of happy Hawkeye fans, players and coaches as Iowa defeats UConn 71 to 69 off to the championship on Sunday afternoon. Well, first order of business is our post game stats report brought to you by High V. You can score big savings with the all new totally free IV Perks membership. Stalky, Clark, Martin, huge in the second half. Yeah, Hannah Stalky, excellent game. 23 points, 9 of 12 shooting, 5 for 7 from the free throw line. Caitlin Clark with 21 points, uh, 9 assists, excuse me, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Kate Martin, 11 points. Eight rebounds. Sydney and Falter, eight points, seven rebounds. And Kylie Fierbach with a, with a three-pointer. And Gabby Marshall, five points. A couple of big shots down the stretch for her. The Hawks shot 45% from the field, 28% from the three-point line. So still not the greatest. Um, and obviously out-rebounded UConn 37 to 29. Maintain that, those turnovers. Remember, they had 12 at half, and they ended with 16. For Connecticut, they were led by Aliyah Edwards, 8 of 15, 8 rebounds, uh, 3 assists, followed by Paige Beckert, 17 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, KK Arnold, 14 points, 2 rebounds. Nika, uh, Nika Mule, 9 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. And Ashlyn Shade, five points, seven rebounds. And Ice Brady, seven points, two rebounds. The Huskies shot 46% from the field, 32% behind the three-point line. And uh, that's really the name of the game. Rebounds, control down the stretch. Um, when you look at where kind of points came from tonight, uh, second chance points, UConn 3, Iowa 10. 
Bench points, UConn 7, Iowa 3. Points in the paint, UConn 32, Iowa 38. And there's there's Hannah Stolke for you. Fast break points, UConn 11, Iowa 9. Um, so, yeah, it was, you know, I think, like I said, the, the, the name of the game here was those rebounds, out-rebounding UConn and controlling it down the stretch. No doubt about that. And for the Hawkeyes able to, um, you know, withstand a couple of big plays by UConn there at the end when you felt like, okay, all Iowa has to do is um, get to the free throw line, knock them down, and this game uh, goes into the win column for the Hawkeyes. But then that big steal and uh, three-pointer by Mule, and yeah. that really turned the tide. That pulled UConn uh, to within one point and then uh, could obviously just play it out. But uh, the Hawkeyes uh, did enough. Clark got fouled, made one out of two, and then uh, just a monster, wonderful rebound by yes. um, Sydney of Falter. <laughs> got tied up, but thankfully the Hawkeyes had the possession arrow. Yep. Again, she's there when you need her the most. In that place, it was to seal the deal and get that possession for the Hawkeyes. Stalky also had uh, three rebounds. Kate Martin had eight rebounds for the Hawkeyes. Sydney Falter had seven, so eight points and seven rebounds. And uh, Caitlin Clark uh, just missed out on a double-double, uh, but she won't care. Yes. Uh, nine rebounds and seven assists. And another thing, too, Tiffany, that was uh, so huge in the uh, third and fourth quarters is uh, the fact that Iowa took very good care of the basketball. Yeah, I mean, to, to, to come out at half with 12 um, turnovers and end with just 16 speaks a lot to being able to mentally stay focused and take care of the ball. I mean, that's huge. That, you know, even if UConn doesn't score off those turnovers, it's just it takes it took the Hawkeyes out of their game in that first half. And they came out in the third quarter looked like an entirely different ball club well looked like the ball club we know i would say i would, I would switch with that first half didn't look like the ball club we know second half that was our hawkeyes that came to play but you felt good at the half because it was only 32 26 exactly. it wasn't um, a 15 point deficit yeah when you kind of go into halftime and you can say well it can't get much worse than that and you're only down by 9 10 that's a that's an okay feeling right it's like, okay, well, we, we can't shoot much worse. We can't take care of the ball much worse. But we're not losing by that much. Hawkeyes, uh, with that third quarter, got uh, the game tied after three at 51. And then uh, able to hold on and defeat the UConn Huskies 71-69. to UConn had won 13 in a row coming into tonight's game. And they finish their season 33 and six the Hawkeyes move on to the championship game now 34 and four on the year so they keep building on that school record win total and now have won 11 in a row the last loss you have to go all the way back to the 22nd of February as the Hawkeyes lost at Indiana been perfect in the win column since then much more to come from Cleveland Iowa 71 UConn 69. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. After a spectacular season, the women's basketball team is racing faster than a Honda Accord into the postseason with their eyes on a thrilling drive to the finish. From your central Midwest Honda dealers, go Hawkeyes! <laughs> Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. One second. Seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it. I invited Jen and Dave over on Sunday. Oh, salad's great. Now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF 
to get help for them and you. Iowa Soybean Association is driven to deliver for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. We're proud to provide objective agronomic research, a helping hand with soil and water stewardship, and timely industry news powered by the Soybean Checkoff. Learn more at IASoybeans.com. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association Post Game Show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Hawks win it 71 to 69 as uh, Lisa Bluter, Hannah Stalky, and Caitlin Clark are at the podium. We'll hear an opening statement from Coach and and uh, we'll go to that live right now. Stolke and Caitlin Clark. Student athletes will then be dismissed and then we'll open up the floor for questions for coach. Coach, if you could, please give us a brief opening statement and then we'll move forward to the questions. Couldn't be happier with our performance tonight in the second half. Uh, first half was a little rough for us. But you know, I mean, we really kept believing and I'm just so proud of the character of these young women to maintain their composure uh, through some pretty tough times in the first half. And we got it to within six at halftime and we felt good about that. Um, I thought Hannah Stalky was amazing tonight, um, but we're really thrilled to be playing in the championship game for the second year in a row. As a reminder to those in the room, please raise your hand. We'll get the microphones to you. We'll start with Howard, go to Nancy and then the gentleman in the gray and then I'll work my way around the room. Howard Magdal at the Nats, congratulations to all of you. Uh, Caitlin, we spoke about Hannah in February. You talked about wanting to get her more involved. The next game, she scored 47 points. Here we are two months later, and she has the game that she just had. Just take me through that process, what you've seen, and what Hannah has done over this period of time to further establish herself. Yeah, I think Hannah's tremendous, and I think it's just the confidence and belief. You know, I think she, tonight she played with an energy about herself of, you know, she really could go in there and dominate, and, you know, she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aaliyah Edwards, who in my mind is one of the best players in the country, um, you know, was physical with her, guarded her well, boxed her out, um, and, you know, she wasn't afraid to take it at her either. I thought uh, when they subbed in some post players off the bench, Hannah continued to go at them. Um, and, I, you know, I'm just super happy for Hannah. She's worked so hard um, to be in this moment. She goes five for seven from the free throw line, makes some big free throws for us. Um, but, yeah, she was definitely a difference maker. So uh, I think this is the Hannah we all know, um, you know, just having that confidence within herself because we all have it in her. So just would be super happy for her. I'm going to move to our right, Nancy. Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. Hannah, what was working for you tonight, and, and how much has the confidence that your teammates have in you made a difference for you this season? Um, I think the confidence is everything, um, especially hearing, you know, Caitlin Clark talk about me like that. Um, it, you know, it gives you a confidence boost. I think anyone would say that. Um, but they just fed me the ball very well, and um, the ball was going in for me tonight. So I'm going to go to the second row. We'll go to Trey, then we'll go Jonathan Tannenwald, and then we'll move over. I do have Jeff and uh, a couple other folks in the queue as well. Trey Modlin, WOVU 95.9 FM. What was UConn doing so well in the first half to limit your team to 26 points and to limit you, Caitlin, to six points? Is that a question for both student athletes? Yes. I can. We'll start with Caitlin. Uh, honestly, like UConn's a really good defensive team. They're one of the best defensive teams we've seen all year. I think Nika did a tremendous got job guarding me. Um, uh, we got some some good looks. They just didn't go in, um, and sometimes that's just what happens. We miss some some easy bunnies around the rim. Um, but I think the the best thing about our group is, you know, we went to the locker room at halftime, and 
you know, it wasn't like, oh, come on, you got to make shots. It was, no, stop turning the ball over and you're going to be perfectly fine. We knew at some point our shots was, were going to go down. And, you know, we put up 45 points in the second half, um, 25 in the third quarter, um, came out in the fourth quarter and started really hot. So I don't think it was, a, you know, a, like a freaking out of our offense not working. I think it was just a, you know, it'll come around. You know, we didn't execute great and we were only down six. We felt really confident in that and nobody panicked. Everybody knew just need to clean it up a little bit. And. That's exactly what we did. And Hannah? Uh, <laughs> she never leaves me anything to say. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> we'll move on to Jonathan up in the front. Uh, thanks. Jonathan Tannenbaum of the Philadelphia Inquirer. Caitlin, this question is for you. Some of the shots in the first half of you obviously weren't falling late. Mm -hmm. in the, in, there was a moment in the second quarter you drove the lane for a layup, mm -hmm. and it sounded like the Iowa fans knew right away that it was a big play because shooters often, when they're not hitting from mm -hmm. long range, they'll, they'll drive inside. Is that something that was on your mind mm -hmm. to do in that moment? Yeah, I think honestly, like, my shots felt really good in the first half. Like, I thought a few of them were in, and, you know, sometimes that's what happens as a shooter. You know, you get a little cold. I think I was, what, 0 for 6 and then finished 3 for 5 from the three-point line in the second half. That's, you know, not too bad. And, um you know, I think the biggest thing is, you know, don't fall in love with your three-point shot. Get into the paint, get in the paint, um, get some easy baskets. Um, you know, that's kind of what I did. I would have liked to get my feet in the paint a little bit more in the second half. But, um, you know, they played really good defense on me, honestly. Like, when I started driving, they threw two people at me. They were going to make me give up the ball. And um, I think that's one of the greatest ways our program has evolved over the course of, you know, me being here. I used to feel like I had to do everything. And now, you know, I have so much trust in my teammates, and my teammates have so much trust in me. And... I just knew they were going to make plays down the stretch. Kate was huge down the stretch, made some big plays for us. And, um, you know, that's the reason we won the game. It wasn't, it wasn't just Caitlin. It wasn't just Hannah. It was all five players on the court came up and made big plays at, you know, really crucial times. We're going to go to our right. Gentleman in a gray shirt, please proceed. For, this was for both uh, Caitlin and uh, Hannah. The Chris H. Schilling, Akron Beacon Journal. Can you describe the, the wave of emotions just in those last 9.6 seconds? Just, I mean, you go from the potential disappointment to the offensive foul and, and, and sort of the opportunity to kind of feel like, you know, you, you were going to advance on. If we could start with Hannah. Yeah, um, I don't think I was ever worried about the game. You know, um, we had the chance to get a defensive stop, and that's what we did. You know, Gabby's great in those situations. She always comes up with big plays, whether it's a block or um, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, we had some costly turnovers there in our last two offensive possessions that, you know, isn't really like us. We had four turnovers in the second half, and two of our turnovers come late in the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, those are situations we get put in all the time in practice. So you would like to execute them better. But I think our, our group is so mature and so experienced that, like, you don't have time to worry about that. Like, it happened. It's over. You better focus and move on to the next play. And like Hannah said, like, Gabby Marshall just comes up with big defensive plays all the time. Like, you see it time and time again for us. Um, and she doesn't get enough credit for what, what she does. She guards one of the best players in the country and really, you know, challenges, challenges her quite a bit. You know, Paige had a great game. I thought Gabby just played great defense on her. Even when Paige made some tough baskets, Gabby just responded and kept going up there and guarding her. So um, I'm really proud of her. And, um, you know, I'm proud of our group for, you know, just being able to flip the page and move on to the next play. We're going to go Jeff, then Michelle, then Lindsay. Right here in front of you. Yep. Kenny Rota, WHPC Radio. Caitlin, this is for you. A lot of the talk was Caitlin versus Paige, but this was a team win tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is that for the confidence of everybody moving forward and <laughs> for you as well? Yeah, I think our team's confidence is pretty good at this point in the year. Obviously, there's only one more game uh, left to go, and um, it doesn't surprise me. Like, the reason we've won games all year long is because we play Iowa basketball, and that's sharing the ball, high assist numbers, low turnovers. Um, obviously, you know, would have liked to have more assists tonight, but uh, we didn't shoot the ball the greatest. We didn't, you know, things like that. And um, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody's confidence has been at, you know, an all-time high throughout the Big Ten tournament and during the NCAA tournament, and that's how it needs to be, and that's the reason we're at this point and going into the national championship game is, you know, everybody's stepping up. It's not just me. It's not just, you know, one player. That's not what this is. We wouldn't be at this point right now if it was just one player. And, um, you know, everybody comes up and makes really big plays when we need them. And, you know, Sydney Falter has six offensive rebounds tonight. That's pretty incredible. Um, 
And so I think it's just, you know, the small things. Everybody comes up and does little things that eventually, you know, changes the tide of the game and, and we're able to win. I'm going to go to our right, Michelle. Michelle Smith from the next. Caitlin, what did Kate Martin do for you guys tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think Kate, well, poor Kate has gone <laughs> quite a while without breaking her nose and having blood gush out of it. And then in one of her last career games, she's on the floor and she has hurt her nose again. I don't know if it's broken or not, but um, I think Kate's just toughness, resiliency, and leadership is the biggest thing. And I mean, you see it, like, Kate's a pro player. Like, you see her game, she's hitting fadeaway jump shots, she's going at people. Um, the way she took over at the end of the fourth, she came up with, I think, six straight points for us. Um, I mean, I'm just so proud of her. She's worked so hard over the course of this offseason. She knew she was going to be a focal point for us on, on offense. And, um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of her. Um, you know, she's had a long career. She's, you know, all she's ever dreamed of is being an Iowa Hawkeye, and she embodies that every single day. We'll stay to our right. Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Uh, Hannah, the game was very physical at times. They were calling nothing, and then other times they were calling a lot, and then obviously ended with an, a big call. I wondered if you could talk about that, and then also you got your hand on Caitlin's missed free throw and tipped it to Sid. You have to do that sometimes when the game is so physical? Um, I think, yeah. Um, the game's physical. It's basketball. Um, sometimes the refs are going to call it, sometimes they aren't. So we just had to play through that the whole game, and I thought we did that pretty well. We're going to go to the back, the gentleman with the gray shirt. Then we'll come up to the front, Dion, and then work our way to the gentleman in the second row. And then, yep, got you as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Wiley Jahari, Spectrum News. Um, I just want to know, how do you guys plan on handling South Carolina's inside dominance? Uh, well, I think the biggest thing is I haven't gone over a scouting report yet. Um, you know, I think just enjoying this win and celebrating this win, but, you know, you have 24 hours to turn the page and move on. And, um, you know, the great thing about us is we're not going to stay in one defense for too long. We're going to have a bunch of different things up our sleeves. We're going to try a bunch of different things. but. South Carolina has been the top of the top. They're in a, a different league, and we're going to do everything we can to try to be right there with them. And um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing is you know enjoy this tonight, and we'll go over the scout early, early in the morning. I'm going to go our far right, Dion. All right, Dion Cash, Fox Sports. Congratulations, Hannah. Um, when did you realize that you needed to kick in gear offensively? Uh, when you saw that Caitlin was kind of struggling offensively, and Caitlin, this is the matchup everybody wanted to see. The rematch, South Carolina, Iowa. How do you feel about that matchup? And um, that's pretty much it. We'll start with Hannah. Um, I think from the jump, I was being aggressive. Um, I thought I prepared better for this game than I did for the last. So. Yeah, I think uh, it feels like every time we're going into a game, this NCAA tournament, it's like everybody wanted to see this, just one after the next. And so I think it's good for women's basketball. I mean, you know, I think being in this moment before, I think, you know, gives our group a good understanding of what to expect. Um, you know, we know what South Carolina brings to the table. We know we're going to have our hands full. Um, the way that they played tonight was incredible. Um, but, you know, it's the national championship. It's the last game of my career. It's the last game for five people on this team. So I don't think uh, motivation will be hard to come by. We're going to stay to our right. Caitlin, Mike Lucas, WKYC. Uh, when there was 1.1 seconds left, you ended up throwing off, I think it was Paige's back, yeah. wasting some time. Was that something kind of just did instinctually? Is that something you and Coach had spoken about as a, a way to kind of burn clock, or is that just kind of how the game played out and something you did on your own? I think it's just like, a, you know, you, you, I watch a lot of basketball. I understand basketball, and she had her back turned to me. So, I, you know, the biggest point, you know, the, the biggest thing at that point of the game is, like, you just want the clock to go down, and, I mean, you don't want to give them the ball, but she had her back completely turned, so I was just trying to waste some clock and, you know, just came to my brain, so I just went for it and kind of worked. <laughs> worked it did, and uh, we heard from Caitlin Clark and also Anna Stalke and an opening statement from uh, Lisa Bluter, and we'll go back to uh, the press conferences in a few minutes. But first, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball.
71-69, the Hawks over UConn. Snap a uh, six-game losing streak against the Huskies and head to Championship Sunday here in Cleveland. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Thank you to the supporters of the Hawkeye women's basketball postseason. GameBridge and the Parity Flex product designed specifically for women. Crystal Group, 100% employee owned and driving innovation with real ownership. And the UI Energy Collaborative, enhancing academic and research excellence across campus. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Speaking of best ever, perhaps it's similar to what makes you the best fan ever. Coke Zero Sugar leaves everything out there on game day. Zero sugar, zero calories, and always bringing that irresistible taste that keeps you coming back for more. Is it the best Coke ever? Take a taste. Hey, so looking to make your next meal a little less ordinary? At Quick Star, we have freshly cooked, hot and ready fried chicken just waiting for you. From tenders to eight-piece fried chicken meals, your next meal will be extraordinary. Only from Quick Star. The best athletes don't just play the game, they change it. When it comes to investing, GameBridge is doing the same. Their online platform does things differently by putting you in control so you can invest on your own terms and grow your savings over time. It's a better way to invest because it's investing your way. Get started today with as little as $1,000 at GameBridge.io. Every detail matters when building a winning game plan. That's why the Hawkeyes rely on Better Cleaner Now Biodiesel to power the black and gold bus on game days. Delivering success on the court in the field, and in the environment. Make biodiesel part of your game plan by visiting IASoybeans.com. Biodiesel. Request it. Grow it. Use it. This message brought to you by the Iowa Soybean Association and the Soybean Checkoff. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Midwest One Bank has been taking care of our customers and those who should be for 90 years. We're proud to support the Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team on their road to the championship. Congratulations, you're making history. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. 24 from Hannah Stalky, 21 from Caitlin Clark, and 11 from Kate Martin, who is big time coming down the stretch. 71-69 Iowa over UConn. Our postgame stats report is brought to you by Hy-V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free Ivy Perks membership. Also, our locker room coverage is brought to you by Gainbridge. Women of all ages need to think about their long-term financial goals. Gainbridge. Parity Flex product is designed to allow women to begin building their financial future today. Learn more at Gainbridge.io. Back to the press conferences with Coach Bluter. But I was pleased with our defense and our rebounding. We got rebounded them by eight for this game. Um, so, you know, we just thought, let's get back to valuing the ball, trying to get some stops so we can get some pushes. And honestly, everybody was... Feeling pretty good at that point. Um, you, you try not to think about the end, right? I mean, that's just, you know, and then when you start thinking about, oh, if we don't do this, we're going to lose, you're going to lose. So it was all forward facing, all forward moving, and we were going to try to, I mean, come out and win that game. Coach, we're going, oh, I'm sorry. You have a fire. Oh, I'm sorry. Kate Martin, what a warrior. I mean, that kid, she was not going to be denied in that fourth quarter. Some of those takes she had to the basket, turnaround, strong jumpers. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to her nose, but it was obviously we all saw a lot of blood. Um, that poor kid has broken her nose, I think, every single year she's been at Iowa. Um, but she is a warrior. She's a leader. Um, she's the, the heart and soul of our team. 
I'm going to move to the front row, Howard. Lisa, uh, um, Howard Magdal, Thanach, congratulations. Just early on, there was a timeout, um, and then coming out of it, you guys went to Hannah a couple of times. Seems like that was a, a point of emphasis. Can you take me through just, you know, whether it was a conversation that went along with it and that decision-making process? Yeah, I mean, we felt like when we got a f first foul on Aaliyah, uh, we had to go at her. I mean, she's such a good player, and I always tell our team the easiest way to guard somebody is to put them on the bench. Um, so I thought, you know, we did a good job of ISOing her and letting Hannah draw another foul. Robert Fembers, Cleveland.com. Congrats, Coach. Has it hit you yet that you only have one game left with Caitlin? And what's been your favorite part of watching her grow on the court? Um, no, it hasn't hit me that I only have one game with her. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's going to be rough um, because it's been such a joy to coach her and to be a part of watching women's basketball grow and be excited about her. Um, what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. What's been your favorite part about watching her grow on the basketball court? It's been her maturity. It's been her leadership. It's this kind of game a few years ago, she would have gotten so frustrated. She would have been, you know, really upset in the, in the huddles. She wasn't that at all. And sometimes people can feed off of her if she's like emotionally in a bad way. So I thought that her composure in the huddle, even when things weren't going well for her in the first half, was really a sign of her growth. Coach, we're going to go to our right and far right. All right, Deion Cash, Fox Sports. Congratulations, Coach. Um, Two-part question. You beat a legend like Gino Oriema, and now you're taking on another legend <laughs> in Dawn Staley. Um, how are you able, you know, what's the mentality going into the next game? And obviously, this is the game everybody wanted to see, Iowa, South Carolina. Um, talk about it a little bit for us. Um, first of all, I mean, going against Gino, he is one of the best minds in our game. He is unbelievable. I mean, the success that he's had. And he has built, dealt a really tough hand this year with all the injuries. I mean, for him to be in this game with all the injuries that he had to his, some of his star players is unbelievable. So, um, you know, my hat's off to Gino like it always is because he's, you know, somebody that has been uh, very, very successful in our game. You know, going against Don tomorrow, um, obviously, again, our, our Olympic coach, um, everybody's pretty good at this level, though. I mean, when you're getting, you know, into the final four, you're going to go against good coaches and you're going to have great players. So um, we'll just be excited to give it a try tomorrow. Thank you. Any additional questions for Coach? Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. You and Caitlin in particular have talked for weeks, months about getting Hannah to have more confidence and, and play with that confidence. What did it, you know, seeing that transform tonight or, or uh, you know, kind of play out tonight, how meaningful is that and, and how did you guys get her to do that? You know, we, we elected uh, her to put on the Iowa, slap that on the on the chart tonight to go to the championship game. Um, we just kept telling her how good she was. And honestly, the only thing that stopped her from being great was her own self. It was her own doubt. And she is a beautiful athlete, an explosive athlete, and she just held herself back. And so we're trying to talk to her about positive self-talk instead of negative self-talk and kept pouring into her about, you can do this. You can be such a beast if you want to be. Um, and so I, I, I'm just so pleased with her growth tonight. She just took, as a, as a sophomore and a young sophomore, she took another big leap tonight. That from head coach Lisa Bluter from the press conference here at uh, the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as the Hawkeyes take care of UConn. 71 69, advance to the title game to take on the Gamecocks of South Carolina out of the SEC. We all remember last year's game in the semifinals. Well, that's the only game that South Carolina has lost in the last two years was uh, to Iowa in the semifinals in Dallas a year ago. We'll be back and wrap things up and listen in to some of tonight's top plays after the break. Iowa 71, UConn 69. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. 
At Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, they like to keep it simple. Low and slow barbecue done just right. When they partnered up with Midwest One Bank in 2005, James and Jack knew they had a business partner in it for the long haul. With a smoking hot business loan, Midwest One Bank has their back through thick and thin. When your small business needs a partner, turn to Midwest One Bank. We'll plate up business banking that's made to order. We're Midwest One Bank, and we're simply better banking. Imagine someone hiding a gambling problem. How exhausting it must be. One second. Seeing the losses pile up and being powerless to control it. I invited Jen and Dave over on Sunday. Oh, salad's great. Now imagine it's someone you love. I know. Talk to them to understand where they're coming from. Please, let me help you. And call 1-800-BETS-OFF to get help for them and you. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Hawkeyes win at 71 to 69 here in Cleveland. Advance to the national championship game for the second straight year. Don't forget that heart disease is the leading cause of death of men and women in the United States, and you need expert care from specialists who know your heart condition inside and out. Make an appointment today at uihc.org slash hvc. Coverage of uh, tonight's contest on the Hawkeye Radio Network is presented by your Central Midwest Honda dealers. With our amazing lineup of rugged SUVs, your Central Midwest Honda dealers know how to dominate the competition. That's why we're such big fans of our black and gold women's basketball team as they continue their tournament run. Fashion your seatbelts and go Hawks. And now let's listen in on some of tonight's top action. She hesitates. Fakes, now gets it to a falter in between the circles. Sydney drives, pulls up her dribble 10 feet away. Gets it to Martin and a free ball from the left wing is right through for Kate. 13 to nine, Hawks trail with the basketball. Park. Gets it to the high post area. Stalky turns, drives down the right side, goes up strong, finishes off the glass, and is fouled. Here's O'Grady at the top of the key. Back to the basket. Takes one dribble. Hands it to Clark in between the circles. Now left side. Wide open. Fearbach for three. Swishes that left to the top of the key. Lost control of it. Dug up by Martin. Ahead to Clark. Caitlin racing to the basket. Kicks it into the corner. To Alt Folter. Now to Martin. Back to Sydney. Fakes a three. Now takes a three. Count it. A beautiful swish by Sydney A Falter. Clark across the timeline. Dribbles between her legs on the right wing. Now drives. Floater. Paint this time. Gets it. As Mule was a little bit late coming over. Didn't want to get that third foul. And here's a steal by Martin as they tried to get it to Edwards. Kate on the left wing. It's into the paint. Kicks it right side. Gabby Marshall for three. Swish right of the top of the key. That's a way to start a half. That's a start. <laughs> steal and a Gabby Marshall three. And now a pass to the left side. Martin goes to work on the baseline. Spins, goes up, finishes off the window. Kate with five. There she got it. She's back. We're tied at 36. <laughs> 44-39. Hawks in the front court. Here's Marshall, left wing. Not a lot of room. Does get it to Stalky on the left side. Now back to Clark. Three-pointer. Got it! 
Wow. Swishes it right in front of the <laughs> Iowa bench. And a chance for a four-point play. 3.20 left to go, third quarter. Clark whips a pass inside. Stalky, uh. pump fake, and the finish with the left hand. Here's Kaitlin at the top of the key. Step back three. Got it! The step back. The step back. The Caitlin Clark step back. Alive and well tonight. Starting to feel it. Hawks go up by five. Kate pulls up her dribble. Now gets it to Clark in between the circles. 12 to shoot. Caitlin, she's doubled. Turns. Bounce pass to Gabby Marshall out near the timeline now. Now right side, Kate Martin with six. Hesitates. Gets down. Turn around. Jumper. Block. Count it. Kate Martin. Clark will throw it in. Hawks basically in a box set. Now it's point eight. Okay, they keep going. And now oh, that's it. Hey. Martin catches it, throws it up in the air. Hey, Hawk fans, let's do it again. Then there were two. Iowa back to the national championship game to take on South Carolina. Wow. They got their draw in this NCAA tournament. Everybody said they have the toughest road. And look here. They have won. They have won. They have won. Gotten themselves back to the national championship game again. Well, a tough road for a tough team. And that's exactly what this Iowa women's basketball team is. And what a performance in the third and fourth quarters as um, Iowa trailed 32-26 to 26 after two quarters and then uh, really got off to a great start in the third quarter ended up tying it after three at 51 and then uh, there was a time in the fourth quarter where you felt pretty comfortable and then it got really tight all the way down to one but the hawks uh, had enough to win at 71 69 yeah they uh they gritted through it and toughed it through and again I say this after every game but I do think that veteran experience and their play here last year just you know we heard it in the press conference they knew they had it Hawks win at 71 69 24 from Hannah Stalky uh, leads all scores Caitlin Clark with 21 Stalky had eight at the half Clark had six Kate Martin in double figures with 11 for UConn Aliyah Edwards had 17. Paige Beckers had 17 as well. The Hawks shot 46% from the floor, as did a UConn. UConn made eight threes. The Hawks made seven. Both teams took 25. Well, that's what you get, a close contest, and it certainly was that. UConn ends its season 33-6, and six, had won 13 games in a row. The Hawkeyes push their record to 34-4, and four, and now have won 11 games in a row. And it continues. Iowa and South Carolina on tap here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on Sunday afternoon. We hope that you join us. Hawks win it 71-69 over UConn in the semis of the Final Four. For Tiffany Reedy, I'm Rob Brooks. Thanks once again so much for joining us on this uh, historic night as the Hawkeyes do it again and get to the title game. We will greet you on Sunday afternoon from downtown Cleveland. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. This has been the Iowa Soybean Association postgame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Hawkeye women's basketball has been brought to you by... Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Authentic brand. Elevate your everyday style with a premium label of choice. hy V. Score big savings at HyVDeals.com. And by Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.